Nico, you do not know how great it is to have you here with me. Before you arrived in Liberty City, things were terrible. I still remember the emails you sent me, cousin. You should have told me how bad things were in this country before I got here. Okay, things aren't easy for us here, but together, we are doing all right. America is an opportunity for a new beginning. You are in need of one. There is no such thing as a new beginning, Roman. But every day we live, we pick up new baggage. Baggage that we must carry with us for the rest of our lives. There's no dropping it and pretending we are fresh and clean just because we get off a boat in a new place. Stop being so dramatic, Nico. Time is a healer. We live and we forget the past. Nothing helps a man forget, like ripe, round American titties. You have to move on from the things that happened to you and think about all the opportunities in this country. Chances to make lots of money, chances to get college girls and to bed. Chance de Postanesh, Soronia. I heard that. I haven't forgotten our language completely. Nico B in the house! Man, oh, sometimes I cannot believe you are here with me. Really, I can't. It's hardly been a lot of fun since I turned up, cousin. Correct! It has been a fucking nightmare, but that's not the point. No? No, the point is... Fuck it. The Bellic Cousins are here in a land of opportunity, and we are making trouble for any fools who get in our way. If you say so. I do say so, man. I do. I just did. It, it's good to have you here. Whatever shit we get into, man, it's good. Thanks. Don't you miss home? You've been there a long time. You never get homesick? Sure. I miss things about home, but I, I, I think things are ruined now. Yes, I know what you mean. I miss the good times we had as children, when our fathers were too drunk to beat us, on, when there was the food battle. and the sun was shining, but now, now I live here and life is good. Is it? Yes, cousin, it is. Sure, this place is crazy, but so is home. And here it is okay to be an eccentric go-getter businessman with a taste for fine women, wine and song. <laughs> is that how you see yourself? My God, you are deranged, cousin. This place has made you sick. Fuck you. I'm an individual, my friend. One of a kind. Or, to put it another way, a freak. Man, I love this country. It's fucking amazing. I want some of what you're on. It must be pretty strong because I can't see what you're so happy about. Life is shit. I'm high on life, man. American life. It's the fast food, the cheap gas, the fake titties. This is shortcut for everything here. You just need to know where it is. Yeah, but most people don't know where it is, so they stay at the bottom of the food chain. They stay there until they're burnt out or dead. That's because most people are too foolish to look for the shortcuts. They stay on the highway like every other chump. I'm an innovator, Nico. I drive off the highway. Off-road, baby! Every move I make is a gamble. I'm going to get knocked back a few times, sure. But one day, I'll find that shortcut to the top. If you're lucky, I might take you there with me. Tell me, Roman, why weren't you such an optimist back home? In the old country, the only thing you could count on was a bomb landing on your bedroom roof in the night. Here anything is possible. It's the land of opportunity. They must put something into the water, man, because all I'm feeling is pure optimism. I'm going to start drinking from the tap, then. How are you, cousin? Good. Good. Listen, Nico, I received an email from your mother. Good. She said she'd uh, sent you an email. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm worried about her all alone. Maybe, maybe she should move here, be with us. Yes. Maybe she'd get heavily involved in carjacking and spend some time doing hits for the mob. Look at how we live here. What have we done? Where exactly would your aunt fit into this lifestyle? It was just an idea. I, I thought maybe she'd find America exciting. Yes, she loves crack dealers. Don't you remember how she couldn't move back on our farm because of all the heroin dealers and the coke whores and the arms smugglers? She would love it here. You know, I love your mother. There's just one thing I can never figure out about her. One terrible black mark against her. What? How she raised such a prick of a son. Very funny. I know. I think it's pretty funny. What do you think about America, Nico? Tell me straight. You love it, no? I don't know, Roman. It is the same as any other place, only louder. People don't know how to shut up here. I bet you would like to teach them, wouldn't you, cousin? But you can't. 
at least you can't teach everyone. Really, you don't like it? The lights, the titties, the food, the opportunities? Come on, Nico, it, it's kind of incredible. It's stupid. Everything is just advertising with nothing to back it up. They tell you you're eating the best burger ever. And you believe it, until you're sweating out all the chemicals in it, and the hormones are making your balls feel funny. My balls feel fine, but uh, I did notice my man tits getting larger when I was eating a cluck and bell every day. Everything else is fake too. The titties aren't real, and the opportunities aren't opportunities at all. To seize them, you end up in so much debt that you'll be a slave for the rest of your life. I cannot believe what you are saying. Do you seriously mean that you don't like fake titties, cousin? Seriously. It's good to hang out again, Nico. How you doing, man? Fantastic. Look at my life. I have stumbled from one disaster to another, and now I am here, and it is another disaster. Yeah. Good point. My God, for a sociopathic killer, you're also a really miserable bastard. Thanks, man. I'm sorry, but listen, man. You have to line up. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy what? Enjoy this. Us hanging out. Living in this lunatic asylum, meeting freaks. It is fun, I think. And if it isn't fun, it's all we can do anyway. Maybe. Not maybe. Yes, definitely true. Okay, thank you. I will lighten up, learn how to juggle, maybe get work in the dance troupe. <laughs> you dancing? Now that I would like to see. Like the death throes of an elephant. Thanks, cousin. You really know how to make me feel good about myself. Don't mention it. Avoid it as long as you can, cousin. That's my advice to you. Avoid what? The old bow and chain. The chastity belt they call a serious relationship. I love Mallory, but come on. A man has his urges. It is impossible sometimes. But you love her, don't you? She's the love of my life. The woman of my dreams. She's amazing. It's just tough. Maybe it'd be easier if I was not an attractive man, but... Sadly, I was not blessed with plain features. No matter where I go, the ladies love me. It's that bellic blood. They can't resist, can they? Maybe you have different bellic blood than me. If women were throwing themselves at me, life would be easy. They make this hard for me. If only I was unattractive. I guess it's stupid to wish for the impossible. I'll just have to learn to live with the temptation. Good luck with that, woman. How you doing, cousin? Okay. Good. And you? How are you? Me? I'm always the same, you know me. I'm an optimist. Life is always great. You're always waiting for tomorrow. Maybe. Feels better than always morning yesterday. I guess. What a yesterday. Man, this has been a crazy time. We've had some insane adventures. Yes. It's been crazy for me for 17 years. For you too, but in a different way. We grew up wanting to be free. And look what freedom was. War, killing, and not even knowing what to hate anymore. And hot tubs, and fast cars, and the chance to do what the hell you want! Maybe. Sometimes it feels like I do what the hell others want. Oh, stop complaining! You're pathetic! The one thing this country has taught you is how to whine! Fuck you! That's better! Grow some fucking balls! I will, when you grow a brain. You are looking at a reformed man, Nico. Who? Where? Point him out, will you? Don't be stupid. I'm talking about myself. I've come through the tunnel and seen the light. My gambling problem is under control. Really? I bet you ten dollars it is. <laughs> Very funny. I'm serious. I only bet on short things now. I'll only back a horse if the competition is dope. I'll only bet on a game of football if it's fixed. In poker, I play super tight. Buffet card Jinko in style. I only play the top ten hands. That still sounds like you're gambling, Roman. It's not gambling if you're guaranteed a win, Nico. That is the whole meaning of the word. There's no risk in what I'm doing. Sure, Roman. I will believe it when I see your winnings. What's up, NB? Not much, cousin. What's up with you? Not too much. I was remembering the old country when we were children. It's a long time ago. A different world. A different life, at least. Remember all those kids? Sure. Most of them are dead. Some. Yes, but not most. What happened to Marco? I don't know. I lost contact. I think he went to Britain or to university. I don't know. What about uh, Mila? Fuck you. Nico Balik still likes Mila Tadic. Give me a break. 
Let me the Tardic prefers Roman! It's a terrible love triangle! Screw you! She did! Many times. But trust me, cousin, she was no good. I think she was the town bike. It was like a cavern. You're disgusting. You ever think about going back home, cousin? I promised myself I, like I wouldn't go home until I had resolved certain problems. I wish I could be with my mother, but there is nothing left for me there other than her. What about you? Your mother is there, but for me there is nothing. The old country stopped being home for me when Mama was taken from me in the war. Here is my home now. Things are all right back home now. My mother would be here if she was still alive. She was such a strong woman. She'd have to be to deal with my pig of a father. I was sorry to hear of his death, Roman. We have not spoken about it. That is very kind of you, cousin, but you would be the only one who was sorry that he died. His only kind words were for the men who'd lend him money to get drunk with. Just like my father, then. <laughs> More than a family resemblance made them brothers, Nico. We know this. At least they didn't fuck us up, though. For all that drunken meanness, we made it through. We're normal. We have healthy, emotional lives. I think you must speak for yourself there. Not many would call me emotionally balanced. Not many know you as well as I do. You're a big softy at heart. You're not as cold as you make out, cousin. You good, cousin? I guess. You sure? Listen, man, I'm worried about you. You have to sort your life out before it ends. What does that mean? It means what it says. You can't carry on like this. Fighting a war that ends killing, running around like a lunatic, all this craziness. You got me into this craziness. Here, I mean, and you helped me spend the money it has made us. Sure, but it can't go on, not forever. Yes, it can. You'll die. No, I will go on forever. This is my curse. I can do this, live this life. I cannot live another, not now. I don't buy that bullshit. Grow up, move on, be, be free. At least think about it. Sure. We're going to make it big, cousin. Are we? We are. What do you mean? I mean we're going to make it big. What's that? What's big? What I've been saying ever since I started sending you emails. We're going to be on top. Fast cars, jacuzzis, hot women. We're going to have everything we could ever dream of. I can feel it. The cousin's belly. On top of the world. Take a look at the history of this city, Roman. The old white men who run the city today, their fathers ran it before them and their fathers before them. The same names are on the new buildings as that are on the old ones. All right, mister, I know the history of this city. What is it that you want? What are you hoping for? To get by, to have a life that isn't totally shit, for things to be a little easier. You've been watching too much I'm rich on the TV, cousin. No, I am going to be on I'm rich, cousin. If you're lucky, I'll let you come around my house when they're filming. They can shoot you in the hot tub! Great, thank you. I can't wait. You good, man? Yes. Me too. I mean, it's non-stop craziness, but I'm happy. You know what? I'm glad you came here. It's good to be living in this madhouse with family. Sure. Before you got here, I was on the bottom. People spat on me. And now? Now they still spit on me, but at least I know I have you here. It's been tough, but I've had a great time. Thank you, cousin. I'm glad I came here too, not because of the place. It's interesting, but also strange, too noisy. I'm glad because of you, to have a real friend in the world. That was all I think I ever wanted. And then you, I had that person. Thank you, cousin. You are the man I wanted to be, Roman. Happy, kind, a good person. And you are the man I wanted to be. Strong, unbent, with integrity. Life is very strange. Okay, Roman tell me I have to pick you up because you is cousin or something. So, uh, can you take me to Butterfly Street? All right, let's go. So, you, uh, you've been working for Roman long? Ever since I got to this city, my friend. Roman's been screwing me ever since I got here. <laughs> yes. Hey, man, don't talk shit about Roman. If we don't pay fairly, go work for someone else. Yeah, whatever. I don't do this crap for the money anyway. I just here for the pussy, man. Yeah? Girls dig this car, do they? Useful to know. It's not the car, my friend. It's the player driving this shit. I pick up a girl from the airport. I'm gonna be hitting that shit up in a hotel room soon as we get there. For real, man. 
I had my hands on more tourists than airport security. If a woman turns up at Francis International, then this guy is going to know about her concealed weaponry. You get me? Sure. You bang tourists. I get the point. My friend, I got so much pussy around this town, I'm surprised there's any left for the rest of you chumps. Me too. You're a charming guy, you know that? Screw you, shitface. You remind me of my wife, man. Take advantage of my generosity and insult me at the same time. You got a wife? How about all that women you pick up in the car? My friend, you are a bitch. I thought you were ever since I first see your ugly ass face. Wouldn't matter that I got a wife. If you've been married for three years, you'd realize getting pussy is a very different thing. Don't you love her? Of course I love her, my friend. She cooks for me and does my laundry. I love that woman, yeah. But I love pussy too. There ain't no tying this warrior down. I'm an animal. I need that pussy. Roman is real lucky to have you working for him. Your customer service is impeccable. You want to know about my customer service? You ask one of my female passengers. They'll tell you I service them good. Great. I'm sure that must be good for you. It is good for me. Real good. I love that shit almost as much as the bitches do. And I tell you something. The women are actually paying for their rides. Not freeloading like a certain ugly Eastern European immigrant scumbag I know. If you didn't have your cousin, you wouldn't have anything. How come you too lazy to start a business like Roman did? I might not work either if I was getting all the money and free rides I wanted from my cousin. I look after Roman. I help him out. Sure you do. You help him get into trouble. I know your type, homeboy. Don't think I'm not streetwise, Holmes, because I seen shit you couldn't imagine. For real, my friend. For real. Okay, then. For real. You better be enjoying yourself back there, because I'm hating every second I have to drive you around for free. Yeah? Well, maybe you should chill out. You're going to have a heart attack getting so angry the whole time. You know how much a driver can get paid in this city? Shit. <laughs> a yellow cab is just a license to steal, man. This don't pay too bad. When I'm driving real fares, that is. Not just Roman's stupid cousin. You don't like driving me talk to Roman. He can send one of his other drivers. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Get a hard-working father of six fired because he didn't treat you like God's gift to the earth. You're cold, man. Ice cold. You really want me to get fired? No, of course I don't want you to get fired. You got a job to do. Shit, I didn't realize you had six kids. Well, I probably got about six kids. My wife hasn't had any yet, but the amount of pussy I get, man, there has to be some out there, doesn't there, you know? Sure, whatever you say, lover man. So, am I taking you to a big drug deal or some shit, my friend? You got a package of snow strapped to your chest? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? You didn't think I was down with that game? You didn't think I knew what you were about? I done all kinds of crazy shit. I only started driving this cab to make my wife shut up. You can't go around busting caps in people when you got responsibilities. Perhaps you shouldn't go around busting caps in people regardless of your responsibilities. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Next thing you are going to tell me, I shouldn't be having extramarital affairs. You got to do that shit to survive, my friend. Of course. And to help your survival, you should just stick to driving this car, man. Am I the only person who can drive in this city? Bagwan Rasta. What's up, Jacob? Why, it's good to spend some quality time with the eyes, see? Yes. Not all work, 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 you know? We gotta ease up from time to time to see how the world turns on. You know what I'm saying? I think so. The world can mess you up, you know? Make you think that things matter when all that matters is that the sun come up and we have a good time and laugh and things, see? I hope so, man. I do. You're up here on Nico, even for a shutter. Nico, Nico, all my male man grow up, man. He's still gambling all his money out here. I'm afraid that that is what Roman will do with any money he gets. Hopefully Mallory will be able to straighten him out one day. Mallory, I find that, and I'm looking for a vibe, you know. Hopefully he won't gamble her away as well. Sometimes I think he would put her on the table if he had the chance. It doesn't hold on to much for long. 
I'm amazed. He managed to save enough money to be able to afford the cab depot in the first place. See, see, there's always people around for lending money to a man, especially if the man have a habit like Roman. See? Sure. You think Roman's addicted to gambling? You think I'm have a real problem? Channel you know, can't throw him one away to them con man in a star. I'm a real idiot, you know. Maybe his problem. Maybe he just need to get something out of his system. He don't like the cars and the guns as much as you and me do. Any money I and I get to them spend upon sisters are sensing me. I don't throw my money away, you know. You all good, Nico, man? Sure. How you doing? Usually I only for trouble, but I don't complain, you know. We learn from my uncle, but I try. Really? You know him? Yes, I. In spirit and love, you know. See it? Okay. They speak the truth, man. They know the way. They understand things properly, you know. He plays good music. Yeah, I play the best music, man. He play from the art, you know. Hey, man. How's it going? Same old, you know. Getting by. How's Batman? Batman vexed me with something wicked at the moment, you know, star. Won't leave him place unless him packing more heat than the sun. Getting all paranoid and shit. Yeah? Is someone out to get him? If you ask him if the jet on the corner is out, forget him, but it's all a spiff me smoking, man. It don't do him head no good. You seem to be okay, and you smoke a lot. Blocking up don't affect I the same way, you know. I know your children. I don't like that cuss cuss in the way a bad man do it. You know. The Ermac bad man's head working all type of ways I should be working. You, know. you think his friend is after him. You ain't turning on me yet, you know, but one day, you know. One day. Shit, I wouldn't want to see the fight if you two went against each other. No, I, Rasta, no, I. How you doing, Jacob? Okay, Rasta, but you know, not great, you know. Why not? The herb is gonna kill me up here. What? The herb is bad for the head. The stuff here. Really? The hydrophonic and the artificial and the man with the chemicals and produce with our chemicals coming with pesticides is wrong. Man is wrong. Well, stop smoking it. I try and start, I try it. Jacob, it's good to see you. All right, my man, Nico. It's good to see the eye. What's happening with you? Same shit. Cops still chasing me, still getting into fights. Don't nobody treat you with the respect you know you deserve, you know, Nico. All of life be about is respect, right? You don't got nothing unless you got people paying you no mind. You know? Sure, man. I don't let nobody talk down to me. Being a dread, being a Rasta, it's all about getting respect and thing, you know. Rastas won't get no respect. We follow Jato, we get respect. Sight? Okay. Problem be when man no pay another man respect, you know. His Rasta be vital, man. Babylon I try to Rasta down. But Ja! Him hold me up. We say, I and I need that respect, you know, star. Babylon is down places where we get the problem in our society from. Make everything crash. Something made everything fucked up, man. I'll tell you that. One love, Nico. Wagwan. Hey, man. How you doing? Good man, good. I was just enjoying oh some God. massive beat dance up on the radio. Yeah, it's cool. Respect what you. The... Bobby Khan is a hard man, you know. Your sound is raw. Yeah. Him are the real selector, man. It's incredible sound system. Only in Liberty City, yo. Man, music from the whole world come out here massive sound clash, you know. Whoa, I must be the top notch, man. Top notch. Yeah, this city has some incredible music. Respect. Jacob, what's going on, man? You seem down. Well, I'm a pex raster. But my auto and mine, man, him lose it. It's his paranoia, man. He's smoking too much of that shit. You gotta tell him to calm it down. I ain't saying nothing to your face. You know, call an alligator long mouth to your passing, Bridget. If you tell Batman for calm down, but I pull out the ratchet and cut I go. This must have happened before. How'd you calm Batman then? Grandad was here back in the days. You tell Batman, no bother ball. Don't be fiercely. Bring him right down, Grandad article down him. Where is this granddad now? Well, I'm back a jam down. Catching at the sun, man. Couldn't take this city no more. I don't blame him. Maybe Batman should go to Jamaica too. That could be the best thing in Anika. Best thing for all of us. See it? How you doing? All good, my brother. All good. We get a whole heap of cali from jam down for my cousin and just bring it up. Oh, well, no wonder you're good. This shit is spiritual, man. Let me see clearly. Hear the irations. Let I and I enjoy life. If I night take shot. Whatever you say. You stick with your schisms and your isms, bad boy. Nico, how old are you now? Shit, I stopped counting birthdays when I saw my friends die back home. I didn't think I deserved any more when they weren't getting any. That's some deep shit, man. Some deep shit. You think things like that, but you don't smoke trees. You need a spiritual engine. You take anything? I drink. Alright, rum be a spiritual thing. 
I wake up your senses and point them out to the world around you. Rum is idle. They make from the earth and they put you in a tune with it. It's a natural thing. I drink vodka. See, vodka be from the earth too. In a jam down we have the rum. Where you from the rum is the vodka. It be the same. Put you in touch with the spiritual side. Where be the most spiritual, you know me I say, man? You smoke it, it open up your mind to be what's going on on the earth. Thanks, Jacob. But I'm all right with the shots of vodka. They fucked me up enough. What, Nico? All good, Jacob, all good. Or at least I'm trying not to think too much about things. What do you mean? I mean, I'm trying not to worry too much about the things that are messed up. Relax, you know, have some fun. Yeah, man, I hear that. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna sit and enjoy a little silence and enjoy the world as it turns. Relax. Cool. We're gonna have a whole heap of relaxation, a whole bunch of chilling out. Of silence, yes? See it? Okay. Then why you keep talking? I'm not. Hold your corner, Rasta. Shh. Hold your fucking corner, Rasta. I was being quiet. Come on, man. How do you relax? And why? I'm trying. You keep talking. Whatever you say, master. Whatever you say. Whoa. All right, Nico. You mind me asking a serious question? No, Jacob. Go for it. What made you come out of your own country? What ruined it for you? War ruined my country, Jacob. One village fought another. Friends had to fight friends. Then the West takes notice, and you are watching your neighbor's house blowing up on the international news channel. Rotted, Nico. What do you ask? I look up Batman and think, what could be turning him into the man he's becoming? He's being ruined, you know, Nico. He ain't the Jedi he used to be. He used to be a righteous man. No my bad see. It's that coke that he's doing, you know. Batman is putting coke in his spliffs? Nah, man. He's selling it and making them gravelicious. The whole jam don't get greedy over this coke money. That turn dread against dread. The rest will be fighting one another when they should be catching and smoking in the herb together. Bad man included. We should be fighting Babylon. But instead, we are fighting one another. I wish my country had an excuse. As good as cocaine for their fighting, sadly, is not the case. What's going on, Jacob? He's in a time of worry about everything with Batman. Batman? Why? He want to be in the mafia business. Big time road boy. All the time he want to mash up the place and broke down the place. See? Yes. From what I understand, he's pretty wild. Don't we all? I'm worried about him. I'm a right time man. But he's bigger than the cocaine team and he want to bring that from jam down. See? And it's not good. No. Cocaine is a bad business. But this whole life is a bad business. Don't deal with cocaine. Everything end up fine. But if I deal with cocaine, everything end up brass, clad, mash up, see? Like I hear you. I guess I know what you mean. The world be a fucked up place, Nico. A place ram up with fuckery. Sure, Jacob, it is. But I have seen a bit at least. Since you got to Liberty City, you mean anyone who wasn't crazy? No one I like. I might have robbed some sane people, but I did not stick around for conversation. Say, Nico, you, me, Batman, we're all crazy living the life we live. Cops chasing us, gangsters trying to rip us off. It ain't an easy life, that's for sure. Maybe it's this madness, this crazy shit that make the world go wrong. People say it be the rules and laws that make the world work. But maybe it ain't that way. That's just Babylon keeping a rasta down. That's just Bucky Massa hitting our box, making the slave ship keep moving. That's just them down presses in grey suits, making us waste our life filling out farms and things. Doing that shit instead of really experiencing the world. The spiritual side. That's that shit that's shutting down life. Crazy rassas like I and I. We don't listen to Babylon. It's us that keep the world moving and jamming. It's us. And we make the world idle. We give the world its life and its madness, you know. Sure. I think you could be on to something there. The thing is, Nico, there's something you don't understand about me, bro. Definitely true. I, I know it all seems straightforward. What you see is what you get, okay? No, trust me, it seems pretty weird. But underneath these rock-hard abs and biceps of steel lurks the beast, bro! What? I'm a wild animal, man! I'm a raging torrent, bro! Sure. My English not so good. Can you keep it simple? I'm an animal on fire. A crazy fuck, a lunatic. But all I'm saying, man, don't unlock the forces you can't possibly understand. Capiche? I'll try not to. And B. Man, you ever wonder why I look so good? 
You ever think what motivates Brucey to sculpt his body into rock-hard cut granite? Can't say that it keeps me up at night, but I guess that it's because you're a bit insecure. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, you're a crazy bastard, man. Fucking crazy. I love you, man. I love you. But, but you're wrong, bro. Okay? I'm cut like I am because I can. Most people are happy with being average. They settle for, what, a mid-sized car, 2.4 kids, and a chubby fucking wife? Huh? Yeah, right. I'd settle for people stopping trying to kill me. That's an average life I could go for. Ah, oh, you don't mean that! Oh, shit! You... you like to push shit to the next level as much as me. As I was saying, people settle for the average and don't look for any more, okay? I want to be everything I can be. I will pump iron, hit the cardio, juice to the max. I'll do... I'll do all that to look the best I can. That's why I've got the hottest bitches in my bed. The sweetest rides in my garage. The coldest ice on my wrist, okay? You know it, NB. I don't let anything stop me from hitting the pinnacle, baby. Let me let you in on a little secret, NB. Sure, as long as it doesn't involve what you really get up to in the gym. You want to learn something or you want to make fun? Make fun. Tough. It's time you learn something, okay? Now look, you're fast and you're powerful, but Unless you turn speed into velocity, unless you have direction, you might be going in the wrong direction, okay? Thanks for that, Brucey. Really interesting. Yeah, I'm writing a book. Yeah, and I've got my own website. All about life coaching. Good luck. No, I don't need luck. I got vision, bro. In short, my philosophy is life is about making the best of yourself. Amazing. How do people do this? A lot of hard work down the gym. Some excellent supplements and 200 egg whites a day. So, man, I was in the doctor's office waiting to go in and have some shots in my forehead and lips, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm reading one of those women's magazines. You know the ones I mean. Sure, Brucey. The ones that gave the teenage girls of America low self-esteem and eating disorders. <laughs> Yeah, right? What were we doing out of, right? Anyway, there was this article about bitches digging guys who don't work out. I mean, what the fuck, man? What's that? It takes all sorts. People got different tastes. <laughs> you believe that shit, right? You you believe that shit. Girls like poor guys too, right? <laughs> Whatever. You crack me up, man. That's just rumor made up by guys who don't got the bots. That's it. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I thought people had different opinions. Look, look, when a bitch sees you all cut standing there just out of the shower, water's dripping down your abs, your veins are popping out because you're jacked, and your towel is like slung real low, they see that shit. It's just more interesting, bro. Bitches like hard, straight lines. They don't like flab, all right? I'll show you a picture I took this morning when I got out of the shower. You'll see what I mean. I'm all right, Brucey. I'm really all right. You know what the secret to my success is, NB? Yes, that bull shark stuff. No, that's you, man. It's not the engine, okay? The engine is my mind. It's a steel trap. It's solid steel. Bro, I can tell. It's a coiled spring of pure power. And what drives it is control, okay? You've got to get more control. Learn. To resist. Sure. You know what? You've got to learn to abstain. You know, once I abstained from pussy for six months, okay? No sex for six months, bro. Can you imagine? <laughs> I was so pent up. <laughs> Woo! I'm not really enjoying the images that are running through my mind. And no masturbating either, okay? That was the hardest bit. Will you shut up? What? Just shut up. Oh. Sorry, bro. Sorry. I love making Ha <laughs> you know what, Envy? You crazy immigrant killer. You know that I look at you and I see myself. You know that? It's funny, but I look at you and I don't see myself. Must be a one-way mirror or something. That is exactly what I'm talking about, man. You can't see yourself in me because you haven't unlocked your full potential. Look, between you and me, I used to be out of shape guy with anger issues. Just like you, bro. You're gonna have to trust me now because I burnt all the photos. 
I can believe that. Dude, I had low cheekbones as well. Thank God for implants, man. Okay, okay, so I was this guy who was going nowhere, and I changed my life. Hit the weights, right? Hit the roids, then the bull shark. I didn't get angry anymore. I was happy in myself. Maybe that's what you need. I don't want to sound like a dick, Brucey, but didn't you get me running around town killing people because you got roid rage? If those aren't anger issues, I don't know what are. At least when I decide someone's got to go, there's a good reason. All I'm saying is, Nobody I'm a more rounded anymore. person, that's all. All right, maybe if you started to look after your body, you'd start to look after your mind, man. Let me ask you, B, what are your personal goals, bro? I don't know. To find resolution, I guess. Whatever. You sound confused, pal. I know mine. You want to hear? Not really. Listen, you might learn something important, okay? My goal is always the same. To win, okay? Incredible. Win at what? I don't know. Win at everything. Great. Well, you're certainly winning the tanning competition. I've seen handbags that are less leathery. Anything else? I'm a winner, man. All right, look, you need a lot of help, bro, okay, to unlock your potential, to be something, to turn heads when you walk into the VIP bar or a high-rolling environment. Sure. Shit, man, I'm, I'm fucking done with it. All right, if one more person asks me, I'm gonna flip, all right? The hate is gonna descend and I'm gonna start breaking things. I'm fucking swearing, man. If someone asks you what? Whether steroids give you funny balls, right? Steroids don't fucking shrink your balls, man. My balls are actually pretty big. Yeah, man, I'm sure they are. They are, man. You want to feel them? Touch my balls and end this once and for all, bro. You can tell everyone that juicing don't actually shrink people's balls because Bruce's are fucking huge. I was juggling them like melons just the other day, bro. I really don't want to touch your balls, Brucey. Come on, Nico. Just cop them, bro. One time. That ain't going to happen, friend. Let's drop this. You know that people used to bully me, Nico. I don't tell many people that. We're close, man. Fucking close. Yeah, we're close. I'm sorry to hear that you were bullied. Yeah, man. Back when I was fat and had a weak jaw, I probably would have bullied me too. Fucking Marty the nuts. Pointing at me and laughing. Captain of the fucking football team, man. It's always the captain of the football team, ain't it? Whenever I'm fucking a hot model, I see his face. Not laughing at me now, are you? Nothing funny about the way Brucey rolls now, is there, fucker? You've got to work out more, man. You've got so much potential. Thanks, man, but can't we just drop the self-improvement for once? But you're incredibly defensive. No, I'm not. You are, because... No, you're not realizing the inner you. You've got to unlock your wild animal. I think I do that already. I think I need to learn to calm down. You need help. How many push-ups can you do? No idea. 20? 30? I can do 500 in one go. Sounds fun. What better judge of a man is there than how many push-ups he can do? No better. It separates the strong from the weak and the wheat from the shaft. Now, are you wheat or shaft, bro? I know you're wheat, man. You're pretending to be shaft. Good point. Sometimes I wonder why we hang out. Then I remember it's because of all the wisdom and vision I get from you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Brucey, you're a pretty intense guy. Have you ever thought about giving up the steroids? <laughs> Why would I want to do that? <laughs> They're the fucking best, man. Make you feel alive. Man, when I got juice in my veins, it's like nothing can touch me. I'm fucking invincible, bro. You don't think they're addictive or nothing? No way, man. It's not like I couldn't stop if I wanted to. It's like, why stop, right? There's the balls thing, which is a fucking myth, all right? My balls are huge. Then there's the roid rage. I don't mind it, all right? I don't mind that it gives me an edge. There's no real reason to quit. But you could if you wanted to? Hell yeah! But they make me feel alive, and I look alive. I'm fucking Adonis, bro. Look at this. These abs are perfect. 
You can't get this shit without juicing, bro! Let me tell you, Envy, the most important thing when it comes to being a winner... Not how many push-ups I can do, nor how long I can go without masturbating. Uh, no. But I'm glad you've been paying attention. No, it's time management. That is how you manage your time. Okay, winners manage their time really well. Me, I break the day down into five second chunks and plan out each five seconds, days in advance. And I keep a spreadsheet. Great, sounds really practical. It is practical sacrifices for winners. It's in the book, bro, okay, or the new book. Anyway, anything that's a waste of time should be struck from the list. And you know what the biggest waste of time is? No. Reading books. It's a complete waste of time. Watch a fucking TV show. It activates a lot more of the senses and makes you much more alive, okay? It's the winner's approach. Hey, you ever see two bitches as high as these, babe? Oh, no, Lucy. Yeah, they're pretty. No, they're fucking hot, man. They're smoking. We met up in a club and it was intense. Wasn't it, babe? Yeah. I was standing at the bar ordering a bag and scoping the floor, you know, flexing my pants. I saw these girls and I felt it. They saw what I was packing and they felt it too, didn't you? Yeah, sure. It wasn't the amount of money you were spending that attracted you to Brucey, was it, ladies? Nah. What are you talking about, man? These girls were as impressed with the body I was rocking as the bling I had on and the readies I was dropping. All right? Get rid of the attitude. You're a winner too, bro. All right, let me tell you something. Home cremation, that's how I want to go, all right? I read this amazing thing about it online the other day. What do you think, babe? No way! Why the fuck not? Viking shit is where it's at! Of course you guys will be dead long before me. I'm planning on hitting a buck fifty. Serious! Life seems longer when I'm with you. Very funny, NB. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! What is that, babe? Is that cellulite? Why are you picking on me? It better not be. Lucy does not do cellulite. Lucy doesn't do 500 crunches a day so he can cut a fucking cellulite. Gross, chill out. Who cares? They're real women. Above all envy, Lucy does not do real women. I'm living the dream, man. Viking dream, baby. Christ, when I'm gone, you'll understand. When you're gone, I'll be 150. Babes, you ever think that there's more to life? I'm a winner, yeah. I, I got a successful business. I got the readies. I definitely got the buy. I can get hot chicks like you to hang out with me. But there's got to be more, you know? How could there be more than that? You know what I mean. I'm alpha. I'm a hunter-gatherer. I dominate the fucking savannah. Eating wildebeest, fucking all the bitches in the pride. You get me? No. I'm a winner, but I'm also spiritual. I feel that deep shit. I listen to, like, trance music and shit. I burn scented candles and I look after my chi. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You get that? Yeah. It makes a lot of sense, man. A whole lot of sense. All right, let's party then. Let's have a good time. You ready to party, babes? Fuck yeah. Great. I'm glad we hooked up. You girls are going to have the night of your lives. Me and me with tigers, baby. Tigers, tigers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell me about yourselves. Let me know your darkest secrets. Let me know what floats your yacht, sinks your swimmer. Are you a uh, crunches or a light bulb girl? Are you an angel or a devil? Are you a good girl? Or, you know, are you a fox in the wolf's clothing? You know what I mean? Got me. Let me put it another way. I've got great abs, but I've also got a big cock and a big bank balance. I'm the complete package. Nico's more your tough and rough diamond type. But he's prime rib, all the same. He's a tiger, even though he looks like, uh... You know, like, uh... Please, shut up, Brucey. Don't mean to embarrass you, me. So what do you guys got planned later on? Shit, Nicky. We're close and all that, but I ain't sharing these girls like that. I mean, what we're gonna do is private, bro. You wanna have a good time, babes? Yes. What about you, hot stuff? Naturally. Brucey's gonna put on some good shit for you, babe. After this, we're going back to my place, and I'm getting out the massage oil. You like the sound of that? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna oil up my arms and chest. Then I'm gonna let you fine ladies wash me to some reps. I'll be flexing the kind of body to tell your grandkids about. And if that don't get you hot, then call the board because you bitches gotta be dead. You looking forward to that? No, thank you. Dream on. T. 
they're real lucky girls, Lucy. <laughs> real lucky. All right, ladies. You have fun? I'm glad we hooked up. You glad, dog? Yeah. Cool. You know, when you smile, I see a lot of good things. I see farmhouses, I see kids, and a future. I, I, I've got a poetic side, babe. Can you tell? Yes. I'm a playboy. I'm a hunter. I'm a swordsman. I'm a rapier thrust into your panties. But I'm also looking to settle down. I'm looking for a little gaggle of baby Bruce. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. But I haven't met the right person. I need someone who understands executive VIP lifestyles. A go-getter, a risk-taker, a hunter. But it's off the jet. Where are you going to find a man like that? Very funny, NB. If I could clone myself, I would. Genetically different, man. That's my motto. And it couldn't be more true. Nico, boy, how's it going? What's happening with you? This and that, you know. Tried to make ends meet. Aren't we all, Nico? Aren't we all? Well, sometimes we're trying to keep our heads above the water, other times we're trying to drown ourselves in it. You feel that way? You ever feel that need to obliterate yourself? Maybe sometimes. I mainly try to focus my need to destroy things onto other people. <laughs> well, that's because you ain't Irish. If an Irishman ain't beating himself up, he's beating up his family. With me, it's myself. My pa was different. That's this fucking chop that's screwing me at the moment. I can't go out and look for chicks without it. But once I'm out, I'm in the can most of the night doing rails. After that, there ain't a chance in hell of me being able to get a heart. It's a fucking catch-22. I gotta cut down on this shit. That might be a good idea, man. You all right, Nico boy? Sure, how you doing? As long as I don't think about things, fantastic. Sometimes I think that is true for all of us. Sure, I reckon it is. Maybe that's why the world is divided into the drunk and the miserable. Maybe. Although my dad was both drunk and miserable. Right fucking idiot. I'm sorry about that. He messed the whole fucking family up, I reckon. I used to think I loved him, then I realized I hated him. Drunken bastard, fuck him. Has he been dead long? Yes, but not long enough. I wish he'd been drowned at birth, got rid of the lot of us. You're not very cheerful today. No, I'm sorry. Happy thoughts, puppies, and little girls smiling, and clowns, and all that shit. You're getting to know the McCreary family pretty good, Nico boy. What's left of it, at least. You good people. I like it how you have stayed together. All of us except for Francis. Well, we stayed together when it was possible. I guess we got Ma to thank for that, taking us to church and cooking a big lunch for the family on a Sunday. When Jerry first went to juvie, she kept laying a place at the table for him. That was until my Pa got into a drunken rage one week and threw Jerry's plate against the wall. What happened? Ma didn't even flinch, she just sat there. The next week, Gerald's place at the table was empty. She must be a strong woman. That's what I thought at first. Now I just reckon it was denial. She got this power to switch off. When Pa would get drunk and do things, she just glaze over. I don't know, she's my ma, but I ain't never gonna understand that. There's a lot that I am never going to understand, Becky. A whole fucking lot. How you doing? Okay, you know? Sure. Great apart from all the blood and the guilt, eh? Kinda messed up this kind of life, isn't it? Yes. But then what's the alternative? Be a hero with feet of clay, or be a drunk and a thug and a killer? But at least you ain't a fucking hypocrite. I don't know. Bury your brother, bury your dad, but at least you can look in the mirror and feel okay? Feel like a man? I saw my brother get killed a long time ago. He was a good friend of Romans, too. We never speak about it. I'm sorry. I knew you could understand that grief. Pain comes easy to the McCreary's. Pain and remorse and doing whatever we can to forget about them. Yes. Maybe we're all hypocrites. All imbeciles. Francis, you know about Francis? He wanted to be a priest. Really? He got thrown out of the seminary for cheating. He tried to cheat God. Can you believe it? So he became a fucking cop. Nico, boy! Nico! You still in contact with your family back in, uh... Wherever? With what's left of them. I'm not so lucky to have my whole family in one city. Us McCreary's never flew far from the nest. We all stuck close to home. All of us apart from Derek, that is. He left us to visit the old country. Liberty City was never enough for him. He was always a dreamer. That's probably why he got into smack. Took him to another world. Cocaine is a realist's drug, right? 
keeps you in the moment. Keeps your head up your own fucking ass. That's about as grounded as you can get. What did Derek want to find in Ireland? I don't know. He loved the stories about the old country, the poetry, the songs, the books. And more than anything, he loved the good rock, though. He went to Ireland to find it all. An old romantic he was. The world has a strange way of knocking that out of you pretty quick, eh? A life knocks most things out of you pretty quick. What's going on, Nico? Usual kind of chaos. Sure, sure. Chaos we all know about. Jerry was the only one who ever tried to live beyond the chaos. What makes him different? I'm not sure, but it didn't do him much good either way. I think it was because of Derek. Why? Because Derek was a grass in England. He was involved in that business and he grassed on some people to avoid doing some serious time. And then went into hiding for years. I did not know that. No, he spun it different, but that was the truth. A grass to avoid doing time. That's why Jerry won't bang. He sees it as penance for the sins of his brother. Crazy fucking idiot. Becky, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you, Nico. Anything new going on? Not really. Usual series of shootouts, fist fights, and robberies. Shit, that sounds like a fucking extract from my diary. It would if I kept a diary, at least. The fighting bit, mainly drunken fights, sober fights, fights on the subway, fights with the family. Did your family fight a lot growing up? Oh, fuck! I practically had to come out of the womb swing. As the youngest, I was always getting my ass kicked by Derek, by Gerald. Francis tried to get me on his side, team up against the other two, he said, but I wouldn't have any of them. Sneaky fucking bastard he was, even back then. People don't change, do they? One time I remember Frankie and Gerald going at it. There was just this feeling in the air, this feeling that told me this one ain't like all the other fights. Ah, they didn't stop. There was a look in their eyes. It was fucking animal. What well, ended the fight? Who won? There ain't a winner in a fight like this. I thought the only thing was gonna end it was one of them dying. Ma had walked out when it started, didn't want nothing to do with it. It ended, they was in the kitchen. Jerry was on top, just smashing Frankie's head into the floor. Then he looks up and sees Katie huddled up in the corner, crying and shaking. And they both just stopped when they saw her. Kate stopped being a kid after that. You know what I mean? I think I do. What's up, Nico? Well, not much, you know. Problems? Solutions. Usual sort of thing. You sound just like Jerry when you said that, all cagey and thoughtful, like I might be wearing a wire. I don't think you're wearing a wire. My English can be a bit bad. Sure, sure. But you're like Jerry. A weird combination of crazy, maniac, and thoughtful, controlled guy. Thanks, I think. I always like Jerry. I remember one night years ago, a bit after my dad died, he came home covered in blood, like he'd been rolling around the floor of an abattoir. Must have killed someone. I guess. I never found out. And he had this weird look in his eyes, like he was possessed. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Kate saw the whole scene. Him insane, like he ripped a man's throat out. Blood everywhere. The showering, the burning clothes. I think that was when she realized just what we were like. She was young then. She was never quite the same after that. No? No. Well, it must have been hard. Realizing your brothers kill people it wasn't hard for me, but I always knew what life was like. Were you and Roman always close? Back home, I mean? Yeah, we always were. Close, but different. A good team. He was the smart one, I was the active one. It's probably why he got out of there when things got bad. I stuck around and life didn't go so good from there in. You seem like a solid guy, Nico. I know you talk about this bad shit that happened to you, but I think you can get over it, you know? You're a survivor. No one but me can see what is in my head when I try to sleep at night. No one has the dreams I do. But you only know this thing. The one here at Liberty City. There are very few people in Liberty City who met me before the war. At least you know yourself, man. Fuck, I don't know what I am. An Irishman, an American. I think I'm straight, but when it's late at night, I need another gram. I, I've thought about doing some fucked up shit, man. My family's just as confused. Are we gangsters or cops? Drunkards or priests? Some people call this shit Catholic guilt. I reckon it's just confusion. It's very rare to find one word that can sum up a feeling you have. In my language, in English, it's very rare to find a word that says it all. I think it's best to say nothing. You could be fucking right. So what's up, Nico? I don't know. Not much. What's up with you and the family? Same shit. 
Well, Kate's being a bit odd, but you know about her. Yes. Look, what goes on or went on between you two is your business. I don't want to know. What I do know is she's a good girl. Yes, she is. I just wish she'd sort her head out. Learn to enjoy herself a little bit more. She seems more sane than the rest of you. Oh, looks can be deceiving. She can't enjoy herself. No sense of joy. Now, I'm a lunatic, but at least I know how to enjoy myself by retarding myself on drinking drugs every day until I can't for the life of me remember why I'm miserable. Becky, man, how's it going? How is your mother? Me mother? She's fucking dying. Has been since the day she was born, as far as I can tell. Aren't we all dying from the day we are born? Uh, my mother in particular. I think it's the shame. The shame of her marriage to a drunken pervert. The shame of her children. I don't think I have to spell that one out to you, do I? Yeah, nobody's perfect. I blame her parents. They were first generation, you know? Came over from some bog somewhere, pure as the driven snow. Ended up in fucking Liberty City, the center of sin on Earth. Of course she was gonna go wrong. They could've ended up in Australia, beaches, hot chicks, fucking who knows what else. I would've liked it there, I could've been okay. It ain't too late for you to get out of here, Becky. It ain't too late until you're dead. I'll try to remember that. I'm bored, man. Why? Because life is shit. Or my life is shit. Because I don't, I don't know. Because all I fucking do is cause trouble and then drink and do drugs. What's the problem? I'm bored. I've been rocking and getting fucked up for 15 years. Is this what I was put on the fucking earth for? I hope so, because you're doing a good job of it. Ha! <laughs> very funny. I mean, I never paid any attention in school. When your family are drunks and killers, you don't really get all the moral discipline you might hope for. My father used to beat us to provide discipline. My father was a long way from a saint. I wanted to be an artist. I could draw really well. I wasn't exactly encouraged. I was kept home from school so I could roll joints for my dad. Soon I had different goals. Fucking stupid world though, isn't it? You cool, Nico? Yes. Not bad, you know. I enjoy talking to you, man. Enjoy hanging out. After all the craziness, recently and a long time ago? Good. I also enjoy our friendship. I'm sorry about the troubles your family experienced. Really, I am. Thank you. No problem. It's always been weird. It's my dad's fault. He was an asshole. I know. You said. I didn't say everything. He molested Jerry and me. Then he killed himself. Nobody speaks much about it. Sorry. I used to think maybe Jerry had killed him, but I think he killed himself. Damn, this is all so embarrassing. Why did I tell you that? I think that's what really destroyed the family. The old man was a sick pervert. Fuck. I never told anyone that before. You ever spend time inside? Prison? Sure, but I never did the long stretch. It's strange, man. Start off worrying about all the usual shit. About some maniac trying to fuck you up the ass. About some other maniac who wants to slash your throat. About the awful food. Then that shit ceases to matter. Yeah? Yeah. You learn to cope with the environment. Make the best of it. Learn to scare people away from you. Get food smuggled in, you know. Sure. And after a while, you stop hurting. And that ain't the problem at all. No? No. Nah. Problem is, you realize it's all the same shit. In prison, outside, with the woman, on your own, with money, broke, happy, unhappy. Don't mean shit. You realize life don't mean shit, man. You teach yourself to stop caring. I know about that. But it's hard, man. I don't know how to fix that shit. I don't know how to care no more. Damn, listen to me. I'm pathetic. Let me tell you, man. I never wanted to be no drug dealer. No? No. I wanted to be... Shit, this will make you laugh. You know what I wanted to be? No. I wanted to be a cop. Really? Why didn't you become one? Now, this is 20 years ago. They didn't encourage black policemen back then. Yes, no. Nah, I couldn't read so good anyway. But I could add up and I could scare people. So I started slinging dope. The money was insane. Crack took off and went crazy. I had apartments full of money. Whole apartments stuffed with banknotes. You're joking, right? Nah. Never made me happy, though. Made me fucking miserable. Paranoid, angry. I wasn't even smoking this shit. But I was good at it. The best. 
sort of fun and sort of like living in hell. Seeing your old schoolmates turn into zombies and knowing they was gonna be your best customers. Man, what a fucking life. Man, life is hard. Sure. I mean, I was never set an example. Prison, they had me doing all this therapy bullshit. Discuss your childhood, you know? That sounds fun. My childhood, I saw my dad beat my mom. I saw her try so hard. I remember once she got pops a golf club, because his friend had some. Thought he could be refined and shit. He was a pimp who couldn't read. Fuck only knows what she was thinking. And you know what he did? He broke him over her back. Fucking animal. I was glad when he died. Life is tough. Damn straight. He's... How you doing, man? Okay, I think. Yeah, me too. Shit's on the up. I hope. Although as soon as I say that, I begin to worry. I remember my dad used to always say, Expect the worst. Then you can only be pleasantly surprised. he say that, then he hit me. He doesn't sound like a nice man. Guy was a fucking fool. He got his, though. He tried to rip off some local dealers. I remember the night they killed him. There was a knock at the door. My mom cried, but I don't think she meant it. I hope she did. You know what I felt? No. I felt nothing, man. Nothing. Not happy, not sad, just nothing. My pop's dead and I didn't feel a damn thing. Shit's fucked up. Man, we gonna have some fun. At least we better. I hope so. Me too. You promise? No, I said let's hang out. If we have fun, it's up to you as much as me. People always let you down. I'm not letting you down. Yeah, no, I know, man, I know, but they do. Sure, some people. Everyone. People only out for one thing, themselves. I always tried to live by a code, to be a man who could look at himself in the mirror. Look what that ended me up. A long stretch, no family, nothing. I know, Dwayne, you're a saint. The world's tough, you lived hard. It's always the same shit with you. I saw eight of my best friends killed in a ditch. You're not the only man to have seen bad things. Shit, man, I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Just try to complain less. You know what, Nico? I always thought of myself as a good person. I know. You have high moral standards. For a crack dealer and a killer, I mean. I know, it's ridiculous. Look at what I became. No need to explain to me. I am a long way from a virtuous man. But at that time, 15 years ago or more now, shit was crazy. I knew it was wrong, but I felt like I didn't have a choice. I had no education, I had nothing. Nothing to eat, nowhere to live. Suddenly I was clearing 50 G's a week. I looked after people. I looked after myself. Shit felt wrong, but it let me do good. I don't know. I can't decide if all the people whose lives was ruined by crack were my fault, or if I was just taking money any fool would have taken. I don't guess it matters too much now. You know what, man? I grew up real poor. Me too. And I remember the first time I had 10 grand in my hand. After I began dealing this shit, I had 10 grand. Felt good for a while. Because I came from nothing. We didn't have shit. Only an old TV, only old clothes, no books, always the struggle. And suddenly, I had a shitload of money. Crazy, man. You can't ever know what it's like unless you've been real poor. I can't explain that shit. Where I grew up, we had no electricity until I was 12. Whoa, shit. My bad. No problem. Man, I miss Playboy. Sorry. I mean, you, we, did what had to be done, but it's a shame. Sure. I remember when I met him. He was always a bright kid, but he had no street knowledge. He wanted to be in the game, but he didn't know the rules. We was closer than brothers. Things change. Things shouldn't fucking change. Things hurt, man. They hurt. Why are you so cold? I've seen a lot of friends kill each other. You're not so very different. You know what? What? I may be fucking nothing in this life, but there is one thing I ain't. I ain't a fucking snitch. When I die, I can meet my maker knowing I did not rat people out. Good. When I got arrested, they offered me all kinds of deals. Take eight years off my sentence. Money in offshore accounts. Crazy shit. I never did. 
If I had done, life wouldn't have made sense. Good for you. But I know somebody talked to send me down. Guess people gotta live with themselves. How you doing? Okay. I'm depressed. You're always depressed. I know, it's ridiculous. I need some medication or some shit. It takes the edge off. I think you'll be okay. You know what I miss most about Playboy? No. He was like my kid brother. He was like my family. Man, what I want most ain't a job or nothing. It's a fucking family. I wanna be your dad. So, get married. Start dating. Nah, I've seen too much, man. I'm too broken. That shit won't work for me. I missed my chance when I started slinging them drugs. Life got too complicated. Guess I don't believe in second chances and redemption. I don't think I do either. You know something real embarrassing? What? I can hardly fucking read. Really? Yeah, hardly at all. I ain't pay attention at school. Never, apart from fighting, beating kids up. Reading bit left me cold. Now I can't go for no job because I can't fucking read. It's ridiculous. What did you try and learn? Go back to elementary school? I think I'm a bit old for that shit, son. Okay. Man, I'm lost. Prison really messes you up, man. So it seems. Fucking does. How are you settling in? Slowly. Your country is strange. Your city makes people crazy. How's Roman? Okay. He likes to gamble, though, doesn't he? I don't know about that. Mallory said he was in debt to some criminals. Do you know about them? No. That would really scare me. Organized crime, I mean. Me too. Do you think they'll try to involve Roman? I don't think Roman would make much of a criminal. I guess not. Interesting weather, isn't it? Very. So, thanks for taking me out again. No problem. I've never dated a foreign guy before. A lot from another planet, but none from another country. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about Nico Bella. There is not much to tell. I just moved here. I know. And you live with your cousin. What do you guys do? I don't have regular work here. So, what did you do in Europe? I worked in tourism, in travel industry. Did you fight in the war? Sure. How was that? How do you think it was? Seeing your friends die, seeing men have their legs blown off, it was... It was... It ruined me. I'm so sorry. Me too. You may be here, things will be different. How's Mallory? We haven't spoken in a while. Good. I think. Good. She's a great girl. I really like her. Me too. Nice girl. Yeah. She's done well. She comes from a very poor background. No, I come from a poor background. You people don't know what poor is. Hey, I'm sorry. By our standards, she comes from a rough part of South Bohan, full of crooks and killers. I imagine she knows some very dangerous people. And she's so normal. Yes, really normal. I really like her. And I think I like you. Thank you. My pleasure. You're kind of cute. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What do you know about that guy's lad? Nothing. Uh, he's a friend of Roman's. Really? I met him. He seemed angry. Uh, how you say, aggressive to high inadequacy? I never see him again. Why? Mallory mentioned him, that's all. Okay. Do you think he's in the Russian Mafia? He sounded like a crook. I really have no idea. Okay. You seem really agitated, Nico. Is something wrong? I'm having some problems in my work. You found work. Great. What are you doing? Nothing regular. Maybe I can help. Tell me what's going on. I don't think you can help. It's nothing. I wish you'd trust me. Talk to me about your work. I'm a good listener. It's hard to explain. And not a big deal. I'm just tired. Okay. If you're sure. I'm sure. Listen, it's a bit of a strange question, but do you know where I can get some... Some... Some what? Some... Drugs? No, I didn't know you liked to party. No, 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 it's for my cousin. Sure, that's what everyone says. It is. He wants some coke for a bachelor party. Fair enough. That is his business, but I am not a drug dealer. What made you think that? I just thought you might know someone, or, or Roman did. No, Roman is an addict, but not cocaine. Gambling. Yeah, sorry I mentioned it. I didn't mean to offend you. You didn't. 
nice, isn't it? What's nice? I don't know. Getting out, doing stuff, not working or fighting with my family, getting to know you. It's nice to get to know you too. It seems like I've gotten pretty close to everyone else in your family. <laughs> you poor bastard, you have. I don't normally socialize with people that know my family. I try to keep those two sides of my life separate. I guess it's nice to be honest for a change. Rather than keeping my secrets about my family from you, you're probably keeping secrets about my family from me. No comment. You don't normally take the guys you date back to meet the family? Date? This isn't a date, Nico. We're just getting to know each other. We might be friends and that's all. I couldn't date you. Someone like my brothers? I couldn't do that to myself. All right, then. This isn't a date. We're just two people hanging out. That's it. But it's nice. I'm enjoying myself. Me too. So... So what? So you. So me what? So are you another one? Another what? Another one like my brothers. A tough guy with a death wish. A man eager to get into hell as soon as possible. Probably. How annoying. What is wrong with you people, you men? What's wrong with me? Quite a lot, I'm sure. Why don't you want to live? To live a normal life, I mean. Get married, have kids, not steal, rob, kill. It can't be easier than having a job, I mean. I don't know. I have lived a complicated life. I was in a war. Sounds like you still are. Maybe. Well, for a murdering, thieving idiot who can't talk about things, you're kind of nice. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's nice to have a friend who understands the madness that I've lived through. You know what my family is like. I do, but I don't think that any life is not mad. You are here in America. You have had opportunities that most of the world could not imagine. An Irish family manages to make it the 18th century when or wherever they are. The men in my family are just highwaymen and moralists, usually both in equal measure. I don't know if I'd agree that Packy was a moralist. He seems like a highwayman through and through. You should see him around me. If a man even looks in my direction, he threatens to rip his heart out. Well, it's a good thing that we are just friends. If this was a date, I'd be scared. It's nice to have a friend, Nico. I feel like you are someone I can speak to. What have you been up to? Actually, I don't think I want to know. I'm sure it made you feel big and strong. Not really. Lord above, you don't even enjoy it. Then why do it? Can you do me a favor and stop preaching? I'm fine. I am what I am. For better, for worse. Fair enough. A lifetime of trying to sort my brothers out has left me a little sanctimonious. Forgive me. I'm sorry if this is a weird question. What was the war like? It was great. You got to see people turn into animals and your close friends die. Sorry, I knew it was a dumb question. It, it's just I hoped it wasn't so awful for you. No. It was seeing your home destroyed. Seeing members of your family die. My aunt, Roman's mother, she was... She was... She was raped and murdered. I found her. Roman does not know. He thought she died in a house fire. I'm so sorry. The world is hard. What are you going to do? Maybe you're right. The war taught me a lot of bad things. But it also taught me to enjoy life. I like that. How was your mother? You know, just waiting around and wasting time until she can join my father in the eternal splendor of heaven. Do you think that is where he is? I hope so. I don't want to believe that every man in my family was as bad as my brothers. My dad was a drinker and he sure had a temper, but I believe in my heart of hearts that he was a good man. What did your brothers think? They hated him. They'd fight with him and scream at him and run away for days at a time before he dragged them home. None of the boys liked my dad, and he didn't appear to like them much either. He believed in discipline, you know? Well, what was different about you and him? I was his princess. I was the little girl. And I didn't give him a reason to discipline me. I guess I played up to it even more because my relationship with him was something I had that the boys didn't. Dad drove my brothers mad. I sometimes think that the reason they act the way they do is rebelling against him. Sorry, Nico. Talk about armchair psychology. I'm boring you. Not at all, friend. Families are strange things. You seem well, Nico. Thank you. How are you? Same as always, trying to deal with the reality of my awful family. 
Tell me about your family. Roman, he's your cousin. Yes, our fathers were brothers. Were they close? We grew up in the next house to each other. So physically, yes. And temperamentally, yes. They were identical. But did they get along? No, they hated each other. They were both assholes, you see? <laughs> I know all about that. They were wife-beating alcoholics who, luckily, were both what they deserved to be. My mother. My mother is one of life's victims. I was mostly raised by Roman's mother. She was great, an amazing person. When the war came, she saved up all her money and sent Roman here. She wanted to send me too, but I wanted to fight. I was stupid. You're still stupid. I know, look at the company I keep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nico. I needed this. You don't have to thank me, Kate. Needed what? Some downtime. A moment away from the craziness of it all. My family. Life in general. With a family like yours, I would have thought you would have learned to cope by now. My whole life has been learning to cope. I sort of can, but it's those moments when you can just forget that I value most. I do have things I wish to forget. The things that happened to me back home. The war. Actually, I wish to forget some of the things that happened to me here in Liberty City as well. I'm sure you do, Nico. Maybe it's something other than forgetting that you need, though. Maybe it's a break from it all. A new beginning. I think we all need new beginnings. I was in therapy for a long time, Nico. It helped me a lot. It taught me how to get by, how to detach myself from people who upset me. Therapy works. It sort of works. I do not need some quack trying to get inside my head. I wasn't suggesting that, Nico. I was just saying that therapy is one of the reasons I'm still here today. Everyone needs a way to cope with his or her pain. I just hope that the way you choose to deal with yours is productive, not destructive. How's my favorite sociopath today? I don't know. How is Packy? Packy's not a sociopath. He's a psychotic cocaine addict, sure but he's actually quite sentimental and longs for normality. He just thinks that he'll find it by doing five hits of X a day and smoking crack at weekends after a spot of bank robbing. He's my brother, but he's an idiot. You're not. Thank you, I think. My pleasure. You know what, Nico? I really, I really... You really what? I really like you. I mean, not like that. I'm not into that, not with you, but I like you. You're genuine. Genuinely awful, but at least you're not a fucking hypocrite. That can't be said of many people. No. I like you. I like what you are, and that's a good thing. Thank you. Can I get through? I like you. Thank you. What kind of man do you want to be, Nico? Here you are, coming with the big question straight out of the gate. <laughs> Give me a break. It's important to me. I've been thinking about you a lot, and knowing your aspirations is important. So, you care what your friend wants to do with his life? I care about the lives of people I care about. My family, my friends, yes! Okay, you want an answer? What sort of man do I want to be? It isn't a difficult question. It isn't a difficult question if you don't care about the answer. What kind of a man do I want to be? I want to be a whole one. I do not want to be owned by anyone. I do not want to be controlled by the actions of others. I want to be able to make the right decision, and it be my own decision to make. You see? Not difficult. How you doing, Kate? Great! Really? No, not really. I was trying to be more optimistic. My shrink tells me I need to be more optimistic. Silly idiot that she is. Why do you go? Because I want to be happy. Because I want to move away. Have a family myself. Not be caught up in craziness. Why don't you get involved with someone? I'm not ready. I'm scared of all that. You care about people, they die. I'm pretty messed up. You seem okay to me. You're scarcely a good judge. No, I'm not ready for a relationship, but, but if I was, I'd want to be with you. Thank you. But you're not ready either. You're a lunatic. I don't know if you can change. It doesn't really matter. You'll probably die tomorrow. Probably. Do you think, what is the point? The point of what? The point of life. I just get the feeling sometimes that life is waiting between points. It's the period between trips to the laundromat or calls for my mother or dates with you. These are dates now? I don't want to get into that, but you know what I mean. 
What is the purpose of existence? For a long time, there was only one thing in my life that I cared about. This one thing, it drove me. It gave me motivation in everything I did. Now, after everything I have been through, I'm not sure that life is so simple. There can be no one thing that gives us purpose. I don't know. I think life can be simple if you let it be. I think that life can have meaning. I want to be productive. I want to help people. I think that if I went back to school and became a teacher... This is a good thing to do. You will help people. You should go back to school and become a teacher. Maybe I will. Whether this will satisfy you though, that is another matter. We want things because we think they will make us whole. There is a void in us that cannot be filled. I hope you're wrong. I don't know, and I don't think I want to. Good, because I don't want to think about it. I hang out with you to forget about that life. Good. You're a freak. That's why I like you. You're like me, a whack job who should have been locked up years ago. You're a deranged psycho. Thanks. What's wrong with you? The very idea I think about having a family, given my genes, is shameful. I should be forcibly sterilized. Imagine, a little baby packing. I'd rather not. You know what? When I'm with you, I can be myself. I can tell you stupid things because I know you're as mad as me. I like being your friend. Do you think this is strange, you and me being friends? I think if two people like one another... What is it that makes us get on? Our mutual interest in wine, conversation, art house movies, and long walks on the beach. I don't know, but maybe the fact that we both understand that the world is a fucked up place. All right, why do we both understand that? Because we've both been through shit. We have scars that come from these horrible situations. We can live to tell the tale. You mean we're both emotionally scarred? I don't know about you, but I have my fair share of physical scars. Okay, we're both survivors then. Maybe that's why we like each other. Bad stuff has happened to people around us, to people we care about, to us even. But we've pulled through. We have survived. That's what life is about, survival. Sometimes I do not call my life survival. It is somewhere below that, but yeah, I take your point. Maybe that is why we get on. We're friends. I like you, Kate. I really do. I like you too, Nico. Are you okay, Kate? Yes. Good. No. No, I'm terrible. I'm not good at this optimism thing. I'm tired. Sorry. I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of this city. I'm tired of everything. I'm tired of myself. I'm tired of you. We don't have to be friends anymore if it upsets you. Oh, shut up. I don't mean that. I like you. I really like you. You know I do. I like you. No, you don't. You don't like anything. You tolerate me. Like you tolerate life. But you don't like me. If you liked me, you'd give this up. Give up this life for me, I mean. I don't think men can change. So you could do this until you've killed everyone? Or until you die? Your life must be hell. You have a very American way of looking at this. Give it up! Move away! Grow up! Get out! You could be happy! It's over. This life of yours, you can change. At least think about it. Sure. I'll think about it. Thank you. Hey, honey. Do you like the way Carmen looks after herself? You a lucky man, no? Sure. You're looking good. Carmen looking better than good. She's got her hair done. She's been for manicure. See these clothes? They all designer, baby. Don't nothing without a label touch this skin. Hey, is that the fact? But you must be doing real well for yourself, Carmen. I'm a nurse, honey. I got to clean people's asses nine to five. I get blood and sick all over me all day. You know what it's like to get blood on you? Exactly, yes. It ain't pretty, is it? I'm wearing some shitty uniform. I got crap on me. I got to look good when I'm out of that place. It's the only thing that's important. Not your job? Don't you think helping people is important? You got to help yourself first, honey. That's the truth. I'm looking out for Carmen. Okay, then. It's okay. You can look. Look at what? Don't think I haven't noticed. You can look all you like, honey. Is this some joke? What am I meant to be looking at? 
My tits, honey. I didn't pay this much for them if I didn't want men to look. You like what you see? Yeah, sure. What made you want to get fake tits? Fake is the best kind. They firm, they brown, they beautiful. Don't you think? Sure. I heard they weren't that good if you wanted to breastfeed the baby, though. I don't want no baby pulling on my puppies. I just want them looking perfect. They're designer, just like the clothes I wear. So, what do you into, Carmen? What do you really like? I don't know, honey. I like boys. I like looking good. I like watching TV. Yeah? What do you watch? All types of stuff. How else are you gonna learn about the world? If your picture of the world comes from the TV you watch in this country, then you've got to have a pretty distorted view. For sure. If you watch those big Vinewood movies and sitcoms and stuff, I'm not so sure. They got a reality TV show for everything now. Rich people, cars, hookers. They should make a show about me. <laughs> I look better than most of them bitches on there anyways. Sure. Well, what would happen in your show? I just live, you know? It'll tell everyone out there what it's like for a girl coming out of South Bohan, trying to make something of herself. Sounds like compelling viewing. Shit, Nico. I really need to get out of here. I need to move. You leaving Liberty City? How could I leave Liberty City? There's nowhere else to go. Except maybe Los Santos. Girl like me could do good there. Real good. A lot of people think that, Carmen. Huh? I'm not sure how true it is, though. It don't matter because Carmen ain't leaving Liberty City. She just needs to get her a place in Algonquin. They so expensive, though. I can't afford that shit on my nurse's salary. Prices are crazy in Algonquin. Look who cares? The other boroughs are more interested. Bohan's just interesting if you don't got any aspirations. I want to live in the real Liberty City. I want to live in Algonquin. You couldn't rent me a place there, could you? If you got me a place, you'd have me all to yourself. We could have a whole lot of fun. Carmen, I have enough problems looking after myself. I can't afford to support you as well. That's too bad, honey. Too bad. My job is just so frustrating, Nico. So is mine. I want to do something important. Really make a difference. You know? Don't you make a difference to the people you look after? You're a nurse. Screw that, honey. I want people to notice me. I want to be a television personality. Host a TV show like that one. Uh, I'm rich. You want to read stuff out in front of a camera? Uh, what's important about that? Only the fact that everyone in the country is watching you, stupid. Yeah, stupid me. You like being with me, don't you, Nico? All men do. Oh, yeah? It's true. Men love me. I see the way you're looking at me, but she won't be held down. You hear that, Nico? I'm not trying to hold you down, Carmen. I'm a free spirit, you hear? A modern woman. I don't want to be chained to no cooker like me mommy was, or chained to one man for the whole of my life, neither. No way. I'm not asking for a commitment, Carmen. I'm happy with the way things are. It's cool. Carmen can't control the effect she has. No man can control me, Nico. No man. Men get a taste of Carmen and they want to hold on to her. You sweet, Nico. You're a nice guy. Not many people would say that about me. No, you're sweet. You know we ain't exclusive, right? You know I'm seeing other guys. What do you mean, seeing? We've been on a few dates now. I mean, just like this. Seeing. Carmen won't be controlled by no man. If that's how you roll, Carmen, that's how you roll. You never made any promises to me. You can do what you like. Of course I can. You know, plenty of my girlfriends get apartments rented for them. They get allowances from their men. You give me that, then maybe we'll be exclusive. I don't see no reason to only give what I give to a man if he ain't gonna pay for it. You could be exclusive with the guy because you like him, not just because he was paying you to be. I ain't talking about being paid. I ain't no hooker. I'm talking about gifts, Nico. Shit. Oh, okay. I get the difference now. It isn't being paid if they are gifts from a boyfriend. Exactly. 
And because you ain't giving me no gifts, I can't promise that you're the only one who's sleeping in my bed getting what I got. I'm happy we've cleared that up. Thanks, Carmen. Hey, honey. So what's your story? No story. You know, I came to your country and I'm trying to make a go of it. I like a man with ambition. What kind of woman you like? Nice ones. Like me? Maybe. I don't know you. What's your story? Oh, you know, I'm pretty incredible. <laughs> Carmen is one of a kind, I mean, you know? No? Why are you incredible? Man, you're tough, but you seem fun. Are you fun? Non-stop. I like fun. I'm a nurse. We have so much fun at the hospital. <laughs> that shit is crazy. I can imagine. Are you rich? I like rich. If there's one thing working in a hospital teaches you, is that money matters. No, I'm not rich. But you got ambition. I like that. I've been plotting. Plotting how I'm gonna take over this town. Yeah? How? I don't know yet. I only just began plotting. Maybe modeling or some shit. Yeah, maybe. Are you bored of being a nurse? Not bored, just unfulfilled. I mean, it's great helping people, but you don't get thanked. You don't get famous. It feels like a waste of my talent. I love your values. Thanks, baby. You're special. Not as special as Carmen, but still special. You seem very special. You like my nails? Yeah, they're great. Why? I had them done by my girl, Lucille. She does lots of celebrities, you know. No, I didn't. Yes, Jill Van Krastenberg was just in before me. Oh, and Tony McTony. Surely, Tony McTony is a man. Yes, but there is nothing feminine about looking after yourself. I am a simple country boy, Carmen. Where I come from, people say funny things about the man wearing nail polish. What's that? They say he is a goth, and he should cheer up. Wow! Is Tony McTony a goth? I didn't know! I was joking. Oh, haha, <laughs> very funny. Do you know any celebrities? No. That's a shame. I know. A terrible shame. I have failed in this country. You look good, honey. You know that? Oh, thank you. What about me? You always look good. Don't bullshit me. We both know the truth. We do? I look fat. I got fat thighs, a fat ass, a belly. Nonsense. What are you talking about? I'm fat. It's why I haven't made it yet. No, I think you haven't made it because you don't know what you want to do. That don't matter. A pretty girl like me should be famous and rich, like in the magazines. I don't really understand what you're talking about. Will you pay for me to have lipo? No. Why not? I don't believe in it. You're a pretty girl. Gorgeous. You don't need that. It will just make you too thin and miserable. You look great, Carmen. It's your personality I worry about. Thank you, Nico. You're sweet. What you been up to, baby? I've been pretty quiet, Carmen. Nothing that exciting. What about you? Oh, I have been crazy loco, non-stop. I was partying the other night in Bungalow 9, and I have my nails done, and I went shopping with the girls. Man, when we get together, it's crazy. It really is. <laughs> it sounds insanity. You're a good listener. I like that about you. Thank you. Not like all the other men I date. Just want to talk about themselves and how successful they are. That can be dull people just talking about themselves. I know, I hate them. Listen, do you think my teeth need straightening or whitening? No. It's expensive, but I think I need it. I like hanging out with you, Nico, but I got one problem. I mean, we're taking this further. What's that, girl? All we ever do is hang out and talk and get in trouble and be you and me. Isn't that what the date is? Ain't you got no friends? We never go anywhere. We never meet important people. So, I'm just not that kind of person. That stuff is for people with different priorities than me. I met the mayor the other day. He came to the hospital to open a new ward. It felt good meeting someone like that. Sounds great. It was. And you know what? I could tell he wanted to sleep with me, and I would have done it. 
if it wasn't for you. Carmen, I've said it before. You're special. I know, baby. How are you? I'm okay. No, I'm not. I'm kind of mad. Why? Because I had an argument with my dad. I'm sorry. My dad was a bully, too. But what about? About my life. About the way I'm carrying yeah. on. About hanging out with guys like you. Really? Yes. He says you only want one thing. And I say, I don't care. I like having fun. And he says, you're a slut. And I say, women have changed. It's called being a woman. And he says, get out of my house. And I say, screw you. You ain't the boss of me. And he says, if he was, he'd sack me. And then I start crying. I'm sorry to hear that. That bit I did hear. Yes, well, thank you. I knew you'd understand. No problem. So, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Yes, I knew you'd be nice from your email. How? I could just tell. I mean, not that I read too much into it. This is just a casual date, you know? Casual. Sure. But, well, it was nice. It's strange. You always want something to be like it is in the movies, don't you? Me? No. Movies are dull. I cannot take grown men playing dressing up games no, very seriously. Down. Well, I do. I'm a girl who wants to make it in the big city, you know? I grew up in the suburbs, bored out of my mind, and now I'm here trying to make a difference. I'm not naive, but... You sound pretty naive. I'm an idealist, if that's what you mean. Maybe that's what I mean. I came here and I thought it would be different. You and me both. I thought it would be like I imagined, but I'm really lonely. I mean, it's nice to be out with you. Good. How's it going, Nico? Fine. Are you, though? Are you really? Sure, I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. Just sometimes I feel like I can't do enough, though. I feel like I can't help people as much as I want to be able to. Yeah, you can't help everybody. You can try. Most of the people from my law class just went to big firms on the exchange to make their millions. I wanted to help people. That's why I do pro bono work at City Hall. I defend the people that the rest of the community has forgotten about. It sounds as if you're being as helpful as you can be. If I got hauled down to City Hall, I'd be grateful for your help. Yeah, I guess I do make a difference. I feel like all my life I've been given things by my parents. Cars, clothes, my apartment, my education. I help the people who haven't been given anything. I represent the people who can't even help themselves. It might be because I feel guilty, but is that a bad thing? Am I doing it for the wrong reasons? It doesn't matter why you do something, as long as it's right. Thanks, Nico. Sometimes when I'm having a fun time, even a fun time with a crazy man like you, I feel so guilty. Why? Because some people are having a miserable time, I guess. I don't know. There will always be people who suffer, Kiki. That is the way of the world. Yes, but I want to help. Do you not think it is vain to think that you can make a difference? To think it is your concern? But I feel so guilty. Life is so unfair. And you've come out okay. You should be grateful. How can I be grateful when I'm in so much pain? Thank you, Nico. I knew you'd understand. How are you finding this, Nico? Finding what? I don't get it. Finding the whole internet dating thing. I mean, this is so unlike me, but I'm giving it a go and it seems to be working out. What made you decide to look for love online? I don't know. I just thought I'd try. Well, what made you? Like I said, this is so unlike me. It's just that I'm working these cases the whole time and I can't get out to meet new people. The only guys I meet are the other lawyers, complete creeps, and my defendants. Mom and Dad made me promise not to date any more of them, so here I am, dating on the internet. You date your clients? Yeah, really sweet guys. Misunderstood, you know? Relationships can't really last when they get sent out of state to a federal penitentiary, though. I try not to lose touch, though. I'm starting to understand why you're seeing me, I think. I'm a go-getter, Nico. A real alpha female. You're seeing a different side of me meeting me this way. It's working out. This is good. I like you. Yeah, it's all right. Don't you sometimes feel really guilty driving a car? Why? Because of the carbon footprint, because of future generations, of course. The world is certainly determined to screw itself up. 
Well, I'm going to stop it. Guilt trip it better? Good luck. The world has rights, just like criminals and murderers and immigrants and all the other disadvantageous do, too. Sure. They do! I'm a criminal and a murderer. I arrived in your country and fell in with a bad crowd. What rights do I have? I'm so sorry. Our society let you down. My country failed you. I think I failed your country. As I see it, I have chosen to live life outside the law. Rights mean nothing to me now. You're a noble savage. You should sue the government. I'll bear that in mind. So, Nico, are there any skeletons in your closet? Is anyone haunting you? What do you mean? Who have you been talking to? I mean, are there any ex-girlfriends who are still hung up on you? What did you think I meant? Oh, uh, nothing. Have you got any ex-boyfriends I should worry about? None that are still on the outside. This government really annoys me, Nico. It's nearly impossible for a man born into poverty in this country to make it without breaking the law. You might be right. I mean, I was born into privilege. I was given an education. I don't pretend that I wouldn't be selling my ass for crack if I was born in project housing, though. Not everyone born in the project sells their ass for crack. This ex of mine, Mitch. I met him when I represented him on this bogus murder charge. I mean, Mitch was no angel, I'm not going to pretend that he was, but the police will arrest any man in the vicinity of a crime in order to clear a file from their desks. I mean, it's just the arresting officer's word against the perps. We found this gun on him. His clothes were covered in the victim's blood. An innocent man with a felony prior doesn't stand a chance. Well, sometimes the cops are bigger crooks than the guys they're arresting. It makes me so angry. Where's Mitch now? He's serving life upstate. Can you believe that they revoked his conjugal visit privileges? It's inhuman. Yeah, sure. So, are you well? Yes, I'm great. Good. How are you? Good. I heard from Dorian yesterday. Great. You know Dorian? No. Then why'd you say great? I was being sarcastic. Don't worry about it. Uh, who is Dorian? An ex. Another one? What did he do? It was stupid. It just goes to show how the system is primed to punish people who are already disadvantaged. What did he do? Triple homicide. Well, that was what he was accused of. But it was obviously self-defense. A mother clearly attacked him and he shot her and her kids. In self-defense? It was a conspiracy. The government doesn't like free thinkers and autodidacts. Whatever you say. I'm gonna warn you, Nico. I'm not in the best of moods. What's wrong? Tremaine's appeal just got rejected. Tremaine the client? Client, ex, ex, client, lover, friend, spiritual guru. The line is so blurry. I'm too close to be able to tell what he is. What were you appealing? A triple homicide conviction. Like Dorian's? Yeah, only Tremaine was completely innocent. There's no way he killed those guys. He's such a big softy. He's practically Buddhist. Yeah? He's a really spiritual person, Nico. He's got such soul. Being unfairly incarcerated would break most men, but he's a survivor. I'm trying to get him to write a book about it. It's an absolute farce, the miscarriages of justice that he's had to suffer. If he does write one, I'll read it. You two have so much in common. I mean, more than just me. You're both such peace-loving men. All your ex-boyfriends seem to be real pacifists. Unlucky, though. Hopefully that won't rub off on me. It's not bad luck, Nico. It's the system. It's totally fucked. Totally. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Where's this relationship going? I mean, seriously. I don't know. I mean, it seems a bit soon to be worrying about that. Are you the casual encounter kind of guy? Is that it? The use em and lose em guy? Fuck em and sling em? No, not really. I just lead an unconventional life. I mean, I'm not looking for a commitment, but where is it going? I don't know. Uh, we have a nice time, usually, when you're not feeling too guilty. I don't need a commitment right now. I just need to know it's not impossible. Is it impossible? Is what impossible? This. Us. You and me. I don't know about that. I, uh... I think we could have something really special. Sometimes, late at night, I imagine us as two souls meeting on a beach. And when times are tough, I carry you on my shoulders. I hope you work out. I'm pretty heavy. What did you say? Uh, nothing. 
Don't you find that when you're getting close to someone, you just want to be with them the whole time? Or if not, at least know where they are all the time? Uh, not really. This ex of mine, he... Is this another one of your clients? No, this was my professor at law school. He had the gall to accuse me of stalking him. I mean, I was just checking up on him. That's okay, isn't it? For someone to want to know where their boyfriend is? So, I guess things cooled off between you when he made that accusation. Kept yeah, things cooled off all right. I sued him for slander. That made him think twice about taking advantage of his students and jumping to ridiculous conclusions. Let me ask you a question, Nico. Okay, ask away. Are you an honest person? Not really. In my line of work, honesty is not always the best quality. But you have a value system, don't you? I don't know. These days, I think I'm just a whore, running around working for the highest bidder. Yes, but are you a cheater? I try not to lie to women. What does that mean? You're not in court now, Kiki. Give me a break. Well, you better not cheat. Because if a man cheats on a woman, he's cheating on life. So? So he deserves to suffer. All cheaters do. I'll bear that in mind next time I marry you. What? Nothing. Do you think about politics much, Nico? When you have seen what I have seen, you realize that most leaders are after the same thing. They're out for themselves, no matter what party they are a member of or what they claim to believe in. Yeah, but if you had to choose, liberal or conservative? I don't see a difference. I guess I'm a liberal. I mean, I believe in the welfare state and the green energy movement, but it's not perfect, you know? I'm conservative when it comes to family. This nation was built upon a belief in the family unit and the strength of the nuclear family. If we don't hold on to that, then we won't have anything. People who jeopardize family with adultery and internet porn and homosexuality and it's just disgusting. Marriage is sacred. People get married and it doesn't always work out. There's always a way to make it work. Always. Perseverance is the key. The key to everything. I love our time together. I, I really do. Good. I'm glad I make you happy. You don't make me happy. You're breaking my heart. How? Oh. By not making a proper commitment to me. By not telling me you love me. By not being there for me. But I thought you had a nice time. Nice? I'm talking about love, about passion, about the important stuff, not nice. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, the French have it right. Crimes of passion are not real crimes. What are they then? They are an essential part of the human psyche, and I say that as a committed liberal. Sometimes I think you should be committed. What? Nothing, Kiki, nothing. I, uh, admire your passion. Thank you! Nico. Yes? Oh, Nico. Yes. What is it? Nico. Kiki. I like saying your name, Nico. You're amazing. This is just so, so nice, isn't it? I don't know. There's something special going on here. Can't you feel it? When you're inside me, Nico, it's like I'm complete. It's like the world makes sense. We have a special understanding, haven't we? This is so real. Sure, Kiki, sure. So, Nico, do you want to tell me about yourself? <laughs> I cannot believe we're going on a date and we don't even know each other. It's not like I haven't been on a date like this before. I mean, I've picked up guys on Craplist and on dating sites, but the situation is weird. <laughs> I mean, this is the 21st century. It's so now what we're doing. City life is weird, you know? Well, tell me about yourself. I don't know. I'm not from here. I'm trying to get through life in a strange country, but it isn't easy. Some people make it difficult, yes? What do you want me to know about you? Everything. No, nothing. <laughs> Well, that's what dating is, isn't it? Giving bits of information, teasing people, letting them see pieces of your life, but not the whole picture. Well, that's actually a quote that I've already used on my blog. What piece of my life do I want to show you first? Oh, I write a thread called Liberated Woman on blogsnob.org. I'm from Middle Park West. I've never thought about leaving Liberty City. It's good that you're happy in your home. My home was not so comfortable. The thing about me is, I'm interesting. I mean, people feel like they can talk to me and open up. I really understand people, so they're drawn to me. <laughs> I mean, that's what people who talk to me and read my blog feel. They get this connection. It's like they feel this glow off me and my life, and they want to be near me. I mean, do you feel that? Sure. Yeah. I'm always fun. I am a fun person. <laughs> Great. 
but I am not an airhead. I mean, I could be. I'm fun enough. <laughs> but I'm also really intelligent. Good. Everyone tells me how creative I am, especially men. Women are often jealous. You know how girls can be. Sure. I'm going to be famous, but not just for no reason. Seriously, not like one of those idiot girls. I mean, I know them. They're all jealous of me because I'm an individual. That's certainly true. Thanks. Yep, I'm an intellectual. I mean, I haven't gotten going yet, but I am. How do you know? Because I have these thoughts. Yep, and I know they're important. Really amazing thoughts about people and the What world the and stuff. To you? It must be so hard for you finding work and stuff in Liberty. I am told immigrants have a really hard time. I mean, some people from here have a tough time getting work too. I haven't had any trouble. <laughs> It's not just because I've never had a paying job, because I'm an intellectual. Yeah, work is sometimes hard to come by. You cannot leave your apartment in this city without spending money, so I guess you need to work. Tell me about it. I walk down the street. Next thing I know, I've seen three pairs of shoes that I have to have, and it's time to call Daddy and get the limit on my credit card extended. <laughs> Not really what I meant. So you got a fancy college degree that gets you noticed? I went to college. I was going to be a psych major, but I found it too easy. I mean, you know, I really understand people already. I know what they want and what they're feeling. How is some professor going to be able to give me a grade on what I already know? So you left college. Yeah. <laughs> And I couldn't stand to be away from Liberty either. College parties are just for losers who don't get let into Mason at night. I don't think I'd get let into a college party or Mason at night. Have you been reading my vlog? It was really funny this week. Uh, yes, uh, it was hysterical. <laughs> I know, but it was also true. And that's what this guy told me that I was dating last night. He told me what was so amazing about my writing was that it was funny and tender and heartbreakingly original, all at the same time. Clever guy. Yeah, he's amazing. But don't worry, not all the guys I date have to be intellectuals. Gee, thanks. I like variety. Anyway, did I tell you? I'm making a movie. No, well done. What's it about? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't written it yet. But this other guy I was dating told me that he'd invest and that I should, and that I have a lot of talent. And I think he's right. I'm sure he is. Yes. I always knew I'd be a filmmaker. I have a very strong visual sense. Yes. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be the great American novel, only a movie. Sounds easy. Fuck easy. I'm an artist. So this blog you write, is that all you want to do? God, I've never thought of it that way. I never thought that writing my blog was doing something. It's just an extension of my personality. I'm creative. Yeah. I've always kept diaries and, you know, thought really deep thoughts. I don't go in for all the bullshit, the trivial stuff. One day the blog just happened. I was going through the stuff on www.blogsnob.org and I realized that I had to get Alex Chilton out there. I had to expose my deepest thoughts to the public. And that's when I created the Liberated Woman blog. It's as much a part of me as um, an arm or a leg. Or a mouth, telling everyone who cares to listen about your life. That is so right. People need to hear about me. I really touch people. I'm writing a novel, which is going to be so much deeper than the stuff on the blog. It's about me. It started out as a blog, but it's evolved into so much more than that. I mean, sometimes I think bits of it, they are so beautiful and sad and you know, they make me cry. You think people are going to read this? People really relate to me. <laughs> they can take a bit of my life and see it as their own. And that's because my life has so much in it and it's so much richer and deeper than everyone else's. I mean, they relate to me because I'm better than them. I was trying to figure out why it was that I related to you so easily. That must be it. By the way, how is the movie coming along? Oh, I fell through. But to be honest, cinema is dead. I mean, it's so old-fashioned. These days, with all the internet and videos and stuff and my blog and the sites like electrictit.com and stuff, who wants a movie? Did the funding fall through? Well, that's not the point. I mean, yep, narrative is dead. It's done. It's all about living. Oh, what would you know about this stuff? Not much. I mean, you're living it, Nico. You're an experience. You're not an intellectual. I mean, you don't care. You live. You don't think. And that's beautiful. I never think. I know, your power, your masculinity, your freedom. In some ways, you're my muse. Thanks. But mostly I'm my own muse. <laughs> I'm going to be an important person. 
I think I'll change the world. Like Stalin? Yeah. I mean, something like that. Nico, if you had to classify yourself, what would you be? I don't believe in classifying people. I think it's what we do that makes us who we are, moment to moment. Yeah, okay. But I'd say I'm a feminist. I think that every woman in this day and age should be. I mean, we don't need a man to help us get by in life. I do what I want, when I want, and that's that. I don't stop to think about what the consequences are. It's a good thing you don't want to go out and kill people all the time. There might be some serious consequences to death. Okay, well that's sick. You don't get what I'm saying. I mean, I will go out and order the most expensive thing on the menu, and I'll buy everything myself at Anorex Spring Summer Collection. I mean, I'll do that myself, and I won't rely on men to get me what I need. Doesn't your father pick up your credit card tabs? Oh, he doesn't count. He's not a man. He's daddy. I'll have any man I want to. Young, old, American, European, like you. I mean, I pick you up, and I don't give a shit what my mother will say or what friends think. I won't let consequences hold me back from the moment. Anyway, the more stuff I do, the more I have to write about in my blog. And I'll put it in my novel, too. What have you been up to? Well, I've been blogging, and I've been doing a lot of Web 2.0 shit, and I've, uh, I've... Well, all kinds of crazy things. Did you write a book? No. Nor did I. That was a joke. I wasn't planning to. Ha fucking ha. I've been really busy. Cool. Listen, my life is not empty, jackass. It's amazing. I have crazy adventures. The other day, I met this guy, and I slept with him, and I wrote about it on my blog. Isn't that what you do quite often? No. I'm liberated. I'm free. You can't control me, typical misogynist. Women can be artists, too. No doubt. Why are you so angry? I don't know, because I can't get my shit together. Oh, fuck, it is together. I'm, uh, it is together. Sorry. I'm sorry. Man. We are going to have the best time. Oh, God, I am so fucking angry. I hope it isn't something I've done. It's my fucking mother. It's all... Alex, do this. Alex, when are you going to meet a nice man? Alex, why are all my friends reading about your sex life on the internet? Alex, did you really sleep with the gardener at our place upstate? Did you? Ugh. You know what the worst thing is? What makes me hate her the most? It's that I feel like I owe her something for bringing me into the world, for paying my rent every month. I feel like I have to meet her for lunch twice a week. Like, it's an obligation? Oh, she's dependent on me, but I'm the child. I mean, she's the adult. I think you're old enough to be classified as an adult now. Yeah, well, I'm happy she's dying. That cancer spreading into her abdomen was the best thing that ever happened to me. I hate her. I hope you don't really mean that. What's up, Alex? Too many things to mention. It's been crazy. Wild and liberated the whole nine. What about you? Me? Yeah, you. I don't know much about you. You're a man of mystery. Where are you from? Spain, isn't it? Oh, where's that the other guy? That was me. I knew it. What else? Tell me stuff from my vlog. Well, you want to know? Yes. Okay. I'm a hitman who works for organized crime syndicates. My life ended many years ago when I saw my childhood friends butchered on a hillside. I'm a one-man crime wave who was killed indiscriminately since I turned up here. But inside, I just want to be loved. Loved or killed, I guess. I don't know which. Ha fucking ha. What do you really do? I work in... construction. I knew it! You are so lucky to have me. I imagine I bring adventure to your life. Sure. So, Alex, how's it going? Fine, Nico. Just fucking fine. Okay. Maybe this date is not such a good idea. If you are in this type of mood. I'm sorry. It's just my doctor put me on some new meds and I haven't quite leveled out yet. Yeah, I can see. I'm a bit nervous because I can't really tell what the new pills are going to do to you. I don't know if they're the reason that I'm on edge or if it's from worrying about what the pills might do to me. Or I might be angry because I had to go with my mother while she got chemo. And the fucking driver was there. Why did I have to be there too? No, I think it's the pills. Didn't the doctor tell you what the side effects of the meds were going to be? Oh, <laughs> my doctor has all my best interests at heart. He's a real sweetie. He's in love with me, you know. <laughs> I've been seeing him for forever. I lost my virginity to him. That shows you how long I've been pouring my heart out on the couch. <laughs> Isn't that the breach of the doctor-patient relationship thing? Nico, <laughs> you are so not from around here. The only reason guys become psychiatrists is to get with young anorexic pill poppers. And the only reason girls become anorexic and start popping pills is to get with older guys. It's a match made in heaven. In that case, I think I'll go to hell. <laughs> 
You are so funny. Ha fucking ha. You're not being a fucking smart ass, are you? Well, what's wrong? You seem sad. Nothing. I mean, ha fucking ha, little rich girl, all depressed, can't write a book. I thought you were liberated. I didn't think you got sad. Oh, <laughs> well, I do. And I'll tell you what, rich people have feelings too. Sure, but you seem strong. I act all tough, but inside I'm just a little girl. I used to be anorexic. I'm sorry to hear that. I still hate life. Oh, I'm a failure. I should have done more. You do well. I should have done less. I'm pathetic. Look at me. I think you're okay. I think you're just being a human being. That's what my cousin told me when I was like you. Thanks, but I really don't think you can understand how I feel. Okay. Have it your way. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm just special. Very special. Oh, I've had the worst day. It's like everyone has been talking at me and no one has been listening to what I have to say. I mean, okay, like they've taken the couch or I told them to take it or they've gotten me the right size of shoe, but no one has really listened. It must be very difficult for you. I am sure you have been saying a lot. <laughs> exactly! God, I feel like sometimes you're the only one who really listens. I mean, you really care. I think in some weird way, we could be soulmates, you know? It's like a 21st century uptown boy, downtown girl story. It's Cinderella, but with a gender reversal and the internet playing fairy godmother. I don't see it like that. This story is marketable. Could be the arc my novel needs. It might give everything structure. Do you want to get married? I hadn't really thought about settling down. I bet you do. Every guy from your background must dream about marrying into money. Think about it. Money and a green card, you'd be the envy of every border jumper in the nation. Dishwashers, gardeners, and valet would put posters of you on their walls. They'd say, Nico Bellic, the American dream. I think this would be a dream I would sooner wake up from. How are you? Shit! I'm on meds and they are not working well at all. No? No. I still know my own name. I want to forget. You're a very up and down girl. Yep, I guess. I guess. I guess it just hurts knowing as much as I do. I would love your problems. Knowing that I can do whatever I want and it means nothing. I mean, nothing matters. Do you know how that feels? Absolutely. No, you don't. Not in the way I mean. I mean, you couldn't possibly know how much I suffer. I guess not. You'd better show me a good time tonight. No pressure, then.
What gets me is these fucking assholes talking politics like it matters. Like the country isn't run by five guys behind the scenes. I can see how that pisses you off, man. Fuck it all, I guess. Fuck it all, man. Live true. Lost it. Jim, you remember when I joined up? Sure do. Squirrely little bag of bones that you were. Billy was cool back then, weren't he? He was, man. He sure as shit was. He could smoke more than anyone, drink more than anyone, ride harder, bikes and women. He was cool. Real cool. That shit catches up with you, man. Sure seems to. Let's do this. Clay, dude, where was the best place the army stationed you? That's easy. Vietnam. You old, Clay, but you ain't that old. I thought we fucked up that country to all hell. Now, yeah, man, it's all steel, man. Steel going slow. You know what they say about guys who spend time in Southeast Asia, man? It wasn't just that. I mean, I love the women out there. But, man, it's the whole culture. The vibe. But the women are part of the culture. Oh, yes, indeed. Lost fella. Got any new grievances today, Terrence? Shit, brother. First the mayor takes away our constitutional right to bear arms. You lost that right when you got your first felony, man. Then they threatened to repossess my bike? They can take everything, but you're still a fucking man, Terry. You got that? I'd like to see him try and repossess my balls, man. That'll be the day. Beatrice? Oh, man. Terry. Yes, Clayton? How come I'm always stuck with you? Wherever I go, you're right there next to me. <laughs> handicapping. Huh? Yeah, it's a handicapping system. They put the strongest with the weakest. Even the out. Shit, no wonder I spend most of my time carrying your ass. Other way around, amigo. Lost them, see? You still can't get over it, man. What, man? I'm a drug dealer, murdering gang member. Dude, you're in the lost. Get out for your brothers. I know, I know. Shit. Growing up in my neighborhood, the shit that happened to the kids in my class, I swore to my mama I'd never touch that stuff. That why you enlisted? Well, I swore to my daddy I'd never be a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we all? Man, drinking? What the fuck you Johnny, man? Rip up your fucking credit cards. I strictly pay with cash, Terry. Keep things simple. I believe you, brother. Know what the American dream is? The house, the car, the family? That bullshit. It's a fucking dream and nothing more. It's control, man. They make you want that shit so they can trap you. Then you're working like a dog, breaking your back. And then soon, there's nothing left. The rich get richer and the poor die. Amen, ain't that the truth? Let's rip. This fucking country, man. Don't say nothing about this country, Terry. I fought for this country. My friends died for this country. Alright, man. Then I will rephrase it. The fucking bricks run in this country, man. Fuck them all, my brother. Yes, indeed. This city is so about you. You know what the best thing about traveling the world is, Johnny? Don't know, but I suspect you're gonna take. 
sentimental right before he turned snitch. I would never do that to you. Yeah, just kidding. I love you, brother. Heartache, pain, man. It's good to have you boys. You can't. Man, I need this club. Lost MC. Lost MC, man. Let's do this. Terry, what's up? Nothing, man. I'm cool. That ain't like you. I'm sorry, dude. Don't worry, man. It's a zen life place. Hammer down, boy. Good to be hanging with you again, El. Cool, man. You too. Just like the old times. Yeah, only I hope for better results. Maybe this time, I can avoid a bed in a correctional facility. Here we go again. Blah, blah, blah. Put on a new record, DJ. Excuse me? What? Now you're gonna get all on my face and I like the hard man, huh, son? Listen, that faggot cage fighting bullshit may work with a bunch of Russian models, but shit don't mean nothing up here. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Aw, oh, shut up, both of you. You're both as bad as each other. They're fucking bitches, always complaining and shit. All I'm saying is that it's cool to hang out, and you gotta both act like a pair of fucking women. Fair enough. Sorry, H. Yes, yeah, sorry, H. And he's right. It is good to hang out. Yo, L, how your siblings, homie? They're cool, man. You know, same old nine to five shit. Tell your mom not to hit me up when she next in town. She's a mom now, bro. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You should have hooked us up, man. Oh, yeah, I only saw her a minute, man. She came down to Masonette, ended up cornering Jimmy Boston and crying her eyes out, telling him she hated her life. Jimmy Boston? He a good actor, bro. Don't look down on her for that shit. Not everyone is acclimatized to the fancy-ass celebrity scene as you are, bro. I know that, man. But you'd think she'd want to talk to family, not some guy from the movies. The movies is good, bro. I shot at the screen the whole time. We know you do. <laughs> Damn straight. How you doing, Al? Not sure, man. Sometimes I think okay, sometimes I think fucking awful, bro. Okay, what's going on? You know, usual kind of chaotic shit. The kind you're too cool to tell us about, huh? No. Then what kind, bro? It's bullshit, man. Hang out with idiots. Well, I know all about that. I spend all day hanging with H. Fuck you, little asshole. I ain't a moron. It ain't your fault. Whole neighborhood knows you got dropped out of a window when you was a baby. That ain't true. Way I see it, you're lucky to be as bright as you are. You a genius. Even half your brain probably got smashed. Thank you. No one ever called me a genius before. And what's your excuse, eh? For being a moron, I mean. It's the company I keep. Two giant over-muscled pea brains. Yo, L, I got some news. What's that, homie? I might go back to the DR for the time. My Dina says she wants some company. You ain't going, man. I told you that. You're being weird, eh? Ricky can go wherever the fuck he likes. You might have forgotten, but I'm his boss, yo. We got a fucking business to run. It's just for a few months. You get someone to fill in. No fucking way. People go to the island, they don't come back. Like who? Like my dad, for starters, and my mom, for second. If the island life don't grab you, bro, you're gonna get shot by a third world cop. Or you'll drown your dumb ass. You ain't fucking leaving me. Shit, eh? You can come too if you like. Oh yeah, you got some real abandonment issues you gotta deal with, Armando. Damn. Man, we gonna have some fucking fun, right? Yeah, smash some skulls. Let's try to keep things cool, okay? Jesus, that's funny coming from you. We hear what you've been getting up to. We know what you like. So you'll understand that maybe sometimes I like things to be a little mellower. Mellow Louise. <laughs> that's a funny one. Well, that's what I'm aiming for. A mellow vibe. Jesus, I thought Enrique was the moron. I mean, give me a break, El. What you mean? I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? You need a little self-awareness. You a killer, man. Always was. Well, I gotta change. You can't change. I can. You a kid who once broke his teacher's arm because the teacher picked on his sister. A fucking teacher. You sick, bro. I ain't sick. You sick. You a sick fuck. That's why we love you. Well, you certainly seem to like angry assholes. So I see what you mean. Fuck you. <laughs> Careful, man. I'm sick. Who knows what I could do? I've been meaning to ask you, El, how your tight ass hermano feel about your current situation? What situation? Mingling with all these celebrities. We give you shit, but it's kind of impressive. Must really get that dorky motherfucker pissed off. He did always tell us we was never gonna be shit, didn't he? Yo, you remember when he caught us trying to get into Mr. Ellis' house? Any normal human being would have helped our asses, not threatened to report us. He was trying to rob a teacher after all. Biggest asshole teacher in the school. Yeah, bro. 
I don't think my brother likes my situation. I'd ask him to do the accounts for the club, but I'd be worried the motherfucker will report us to the IRS. People don't change. No, they don't. Maybe some people do, but yeah, whatever, bro. What's going on, gentlemen? Gentlemen? Man, you spent too long wiping rich guys' asses. I do mio. Shut up. Sorry. No, you don't do anything you don't enjoy. I meant sucking them off. Seriously, Enano. Shut up. Yeah, shut up. Who are you loyal to, moron? Fuck you, Armando. Why are you so angry? Yeah, bro. Why are you so angry? I guess I'm just worried about losing my friends. You ain't losing me, bro. I took a fucking fall for you, you dumb, ignorant prick. And we still friends, even though we seem to hate each other. You didn't take no fall for me. Well, I went down and you didn't. So what was it, huh? Did you squeal? This again. Well, for real, what happened? No bullshit, bro. Why did I spend a chunk of my life inside while you did it? Well, whatever. It certainly impacted you. Now you love hanging with fags. I hope you sleep well, bro. I sleep just fine. Listen, I know you didn't rat me out. If I thought you had, I would have killed you. But I think you spoke about some shit. So you took a walk, and I, who didn't talk, I took a fall. And I don't care. But if you get all street philosopher on me, I'm gonna beat your bitch ass black and fucking blue. She wasn't like that, El. Whatever you say, bro. Listen, I know you didn't get me in worse shit, but I do know you got someone in worse shit. And I don't give a fuck. Is that true, eh? It's bullshit. For real. This guy is just pent up. Cause Tony won't blow him no more. He's so fucking gay, he's probably pissed he didn't spend longer inside. Which is why I'm thinking of fucking killing you. You'd get a medal for that. Services to humanity. Ricky, bro. Why you think you are like you are? What you mean, man? Why is he like the most dependable motherfucker to have around in the fight? Damn right I am. He's like that because you're the least dependable guy, eh? And you're always getting us into fucking fights. Someone gotta step up. I mean, why are you fucking stupid, bro? Is it because your mama was smoking crack while she had you? Or was it just that we smoke shit? At least I got a mama, eh? At least mine didn't run out on me. You guys, man. We're supposed to be having a good time. What's got into you? Yo, shit, bro. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing. Me neither, bro. It's hard to get angry when there's such a glaring fault in your logic. Yeah, what's that? She have to smoke up in human amount of weed to make a kid this stupid. I mean, we talking like rainforest depleting tree habit to pop me out. Haha, <laughs> you got a point. I guess it was crack then. You guys are both morons, man. Shit. Shit. How you doing, El? Good, man. How you boys been? We been making serious moves, dude. Serious shit. Cool. Well, what's the plan? I just told you. We making moves. Yeah, I got that part, fool. What I mean is, what you and Enrique plan on doing next? Dope ain't a long-term game. I'm a street guy. Do I look like I got a 401k? So you want to die in the streets, man? Because that's how this will end for all of us, where we've been living. I ain't afraid to die. Me neither, bro. But I'd rather die trying to get out of this world than stuck in. You know what I mean? I guess I ain't so riddled with insecurity as you. I'm happy with who I am. Me too. Cool. Living and dying for dope, with no hope or nothing better. See, it's kind of pathetic to me, man. Dope is a way to help yourself, not a life. At least that's how I see it. But whatever you fools want. Who you calling a fool, you fool, sir? You always was. A pretty boy, but not a street guy. Just don't drag H down with you, street genius. That's all. So well. So what, man? So like, when you coming on board full time? When are we taking the operation to the next level? Oh yeah, I help when I can. You know that. It can be useful sometimes. I ain't talking when you can. I'm talking this just other shit, and we're gonna make something go all the way. The three of us together. I told you not to do this, eh? I told you I didn't want to be no part of it. Part of what, motherfucker? Say it. Part of making Luis tell us that he ain't like us no more. That he all grown up while we still the same as he was when we was kid. He too good for us. You know that ain't how I think, H. Eh? Well, you should. Cause it's fucking true. Hey, because we're going in different directions right now, man. But that don't mean I think I'm better than you. And it don't mean I can't help you guys go legit, neither. How about this, El? Me and Rick are gonna stop trying to make you change. If you pay us the same respect. We is who we is. End of story. And I never respected that, bro. I always treated you like the freak you are. <laughs> exactly. You see the way that man was looking at me? Did you see him? An ex-boyfriend? Fuck you! Fuck you, Nicobelic! He was looking at me like he wanted to fight! Like he thought I was nobody. I am a somebody. So so what if I moved here? Everyone except the Native Americans are immigrants to this country. 
And even they were meant to have walked here from Russia when the sea was frozen over. I didn't know that. Stick with me, cousin, and you'll learn a lot. About games of chance, about hard work and opportunity, about pleasuring women. You'll learn a hell of a lot. What did that scumbag think he was staring at? I'm a continental lager. He's just a domestic brew. Tastes like fucking piss. Everyone loves an imported and classy beverage. If I knew where he oh. lived, I'd go there and seduce his wife. She wouldn't be able to resist you, Roman. Not many women can. Not many can. Did you see those titties in there? Me, I could have covered them with butter and syrup and had them for breakfast. What about Mallory's titties? Don't you like them? Have you been bawling, Mallory, cousin? How could you? She's the love of my life. The woman of my dreams. My old cousin is thinking about her firm, sweet titties. You make me sick, cousin. Sick to the bone. You're drunk, Roman. That yeah, is no excuse for giving it to Mallory, Nico. Just because I might not be able to perform right now, does it mean you should step into the ring for me? I'll be on fighting form again tomorrow morning. Lucky Mallory. Since you have got to live with the city, I've shared everything with you. Everything. But I won't say that. No, I won't say that. I love you, Nico. I know you do, Roman. I'm drunk, cousin. You don't say. As usual, one smell of the alehouse and Roman Bellic is about to vomit. Peace off! I can hold the drink. I am a warrior. I'm an animal. I am the beast. Excuse I'm a beast! Me. If you say so. A wild fucking animal. Ask anyone. Ask Mallory. I did. She said you were like a wild animal. Like a wild pig. <laughs> Fuck you! You can't take me. I'm a maniac. I'm a beast. I eat, I sleep, I fuck, I drink. You vomit, you cry, you read self-help books. You are all men, Roman. I am sober. I had a lot to drink, but I'm straight sober. Sure. I am. Listen, man. I'm seeing funny. I think I got spiked. What? What is spiked? I think someone put something in my drink. Evil people do to women they wish to take advantage of. And which nice sailor in there do you think wanted to take advantage of you, pretty lady? Firstly, I wasn't in the fucking merchant navy. And secondly, cousin and friend, fuck you. And thirdly, people also do it if they want to steal your kidneys or your liver. Who would want your kidneys or liver? They must all be shot through by now. Fuck you, I'm an alpha male. I'm at the top of the tree. Like a fairy. Not that tree. The tree of life. Oh, that tree. Me, Stop talking shit. Oh, unbelievable. We need to get home. Quick. Are you throwing up, Roman? I'll throw up on you if you give me any more lip and be. No, I need to play some bets. I'm feeling lucky. You're lucky to be conscious you drunk so much. I have a good feeling in my gut. There's money to be won, Nico. Wonderful dollars to collect from stupid chumps who can't pick a winner from a loser. A bad hand from a good one. If I was a betting man, Roman, which I'm not, I would bet against you in this state. Oh, it's the pessimist, cousin. Always hating on me. You'll see. You'll see. I'll see something. Sorry, Nico. I can't take the drink so good. No problem. I'm all mud up. I'm back to front. The world is turning gone the wrong way. So you say. So it is, man. You know, see me all mash up, man. I mash up. Just make me cry in peace, man. Now let me sit in peace, Nico. You know me get funny when me drink and you make the world spin funny, man. Sure. Hang in there. You know me, man. You hit the car and the drinking and the driving thing, man. 
I remember. I didn't realize you couldn't handle a drink. Remember, shut up now, Nico. Remember one day in peace why you have cheers all of a sudden. Boy, I'm a drink too much in a rasta. Okay, okay, take it easy. My head spinning, my stomach turning, my heart fire, fire. I can't take it easy. Sorry. Shut up and make me die in peace, man. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, man. We're the fucking best, bro. Nobody could touch our shit. I mean, no one else was flashing the cash that we were, right? Nobody was rocking bling like ours. No one could touch our pops. We're fucking pimps. We are the money. Did you see the way those bitches were scoping me? They yeah, love baby. my shit. Yeah, that's right. I miss that, Brucey. Oh, well, you must have been in the can or something. Sure, baby. I'm gonna have to hit the cardio hard tomorrow. Word. There were some Scrumptious serious carbs in those drinks, bro. Food. Yeah, really? I didn't know That's this. Know. You should start looking after yourself more. Start counting carbs, bro. Hitting the weights. I got a good line on juice if you want some. I got enough of a temper. Thanks, Brucey. I don't want to think what would happen if the roid rage took hold of me, too. That was just an offer, man. All right? An offer to a I'm friend. Screwing. I fucking love you, man. Did you see how those women were looking at me, man? No, they were Hellcats. Hunters. Cougars, baby. Just like me. Vain, drug addled, full of plastic. Oh, man, shut up. Just shut up. Why are you always so negative, bro? Winners are never negative. I'm a positive person. I'm the best. I'm unstoppable. I'm genetically different, man. That's my vibe, and I'm sticking to it. I fucking love you, man. Man, I love drinking champagne. It's the fucking best, bro. Fucking best. That's why it costs the most, because it's shit. It's okay. You see how I went in there, and I got the most expensive shit they had? That's how I roll, okay? I don't mind laying down the readies. I, I just wish more people saw me, man. They saw you drinking the champagne. Yeah, but that don't mean they knew how much it cost. They, they might have thought we was drinking some sparkling wine shit or something. You'd think the barman could have put a price tag on the glass, you fucking asshole. Everyone would know then. You should ask them next time. You like poetry, Nico? I fucking love it. Poetry is in the blood of an Irishman. Same as booze, religion, sodomy, and fighting. <laughs> I do like poetry. We have much in my country. Let me recite some to you. You do not mind that it is in my language. You must remain very silent. Is it a long, it is a long poem. All right. Um, I guess I'd like to hear that. Recite away, Nico. I'm just fucking with you, Becky. Sorry. I don't know no fucking poetry. Oh if I did, I would not speak it to you in this country. All you got is rap music. Fucking America, you're right, but I'm a fucking Irishman. We got more poets than bottles of whiskey. And that's saying a fucking lot. Fucking Yates and shit. You know him? Cannot say that I do. He wrote about fighting and dreaming and fucking swans and all types of shit on his grave. It says something like, like, don't get worked up about life and death because people ain't gonna care and they're gonna be like walking over your dead body anyway. Horsemen pass by. That's some deep fucking shit. Sure it is. I'm drunk and stupid tonight. Again? Oh, again. Oh, fucking again. You're leading me astray, Nico. You're leading me down a no good path of wine and women and song and good times and tears. You didn't seem like you were on the good path. When we met, I mean. Fuck you. I was a choir boy. A cherub. An angel sat down to live amongst men. That's what they told me. Man, I gotta straighten myself out. 
I can't go on like this. I'm a fucking mess. I'm gonna make all the bones. I know that, but I like to hit 30. Sure. I'm drunk and coked up every night. I doubt I'll see another six months, and if it's much longer, I'll end up in prison like everyone does. Oh man, I can't take it. I can't fucking take it. Shoot me. Shut up. Shoot me in the head. You're drunk. Shut up. Fuck you. I'm not Pardon drunk. Me. I'm sober as a lord. So sorry. Whatever. Fuck me. I'm pissed. Me too. But I don't want to fuck you. <laughs> Ah, comedian, ladies and gents. I've heard about Europe is near Ireland. Only the people there are backwards and hairy. Whereas you're really civilized here. I'm civilized. I know a lot about sizzlevation. I went there once. Didn't like much. Went back to the madhouse. Fuck me. I'm drunk. these people? Fuck me, Nico boy. Fuck Hello? me sideways. I don't got no coke, if that's what you're thinking. Sure, sure. No, Nico. No, 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 no. I wasn't meaning anything like that. I don't gotta have an agenda to tell a friend he's a fucking prince. But point taken, I'd tell my pa he was a fucking prince if he'd rack up some rails for me. Then if I was talking to my pa, I'd be burning in the seventh circle of fucking hell. You think I still need chop if I was burning in hell, Nico? Couldn't tell you, Becky. I wouldn't know. That's where I'm going, Nico boy. That's where I'm heading. We'll be fighting at the kitchen table for the rest of eternity. Fighting, burning, eating, drinking, and snorting our way through eternity in hell. Sounds fun. Promise to invite me around when you're there. Nico, man, Nico. I just want to. I just want to say. I just. I just want to say something. What? Let me think. Shut up and <coughs> let me think. Let me be the whole of me life. No one ever let me be. Do this, Packy. Go there. Hit him. Touch me there. You're sick. You're all fucking sick. Every last one of you. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm pissed. I'm pissed and I'm sick. Stupid shit about shit, and I'm going to hell, and the world is ugly, and unkind, and full of idiots, and I have so much inside me, but I can't express it. So I get fucked up, and I goes and hits a cut, and this called being a man. Fuck it. Quite frankly, I'd rather be a fucking puddle of piss. You're fun when you're drunk. Fuck you. You ever been to Ireland, Nico? I have to say, I missed it on my travels. Maybe one day. I've only been in my dreams, Nico. In me dreams. I ain't never left Liberty City apart from in me dreams. Before you get smart, going to a federal penitentiary, penitentiary don't count as leaving Liberty City. I wasn't going to get smart. I'm going to Ireland, though, Nico. I'm a Fucking go! Mark me words. Oh, daddy boy. Blimey, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From Glen to Glen. Every day we get from and the down the mountainside. The summer's gone. And all the flowers are dying. Tis you, tis you must go and I must bide. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow. Or when the And white with snow. Tis I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. I love you so. Fuck, man. I am 
drunk. Cool, I'd been more sober myself. You know what, Nico? I love you, man. For a fucking immigrant psycho, you ain't bad. I mean, you dress like an idiot, you look angry, and you're not much fun and stuff, but I like you. It sure sounds like it. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be a dick. God, why are people always assholes? Dwayne, please shut up. You're drunk. You know what, man? I can't fucking stand it. I mean, you go out, you start drinking, and then the world seems okay. You know? It seems... See, people don't hate you. See, people don't want you to disappear. You get that warm, happy glow. You know? You feel good. Oh, you feel fucking good. What the fuck? Feeling okay, son. Oh, oh fucking good. Yeah, you know, so you keep drinking, and suddenly you feel like shit, and you want to cry, only you can't cry, because cause you ain't a fucking woman, and you know, man, shit is fucked up. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Shit. Well, that's all I got to say. Man, that was fun. Booze, man. It's the greatest thing. You think? Better than sex? Hell yeah! Cause booze lets you forget, man. Lets you fucking forget. Not me. Yeah. Well, it lets me forget. Lets me forget that I killed my best friend. Ah, <gasps> fuck! Oh, Cause I was jealous. Cause I couldn't handle the success. You know that? You're drunk! Shut up! I'm a fucking murderer. I killed my best friend. Man, I'm shit. Useless shit. Kill me, Nico. Shut up, please, for the love of God. Try to enjoy yourself. Do whatever, but shut up. Man, I'm drunk as shit. Yes. Drunk, 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 drunk. Sure. I'm so Fucking drunk, man. Really? I ain't shitting you, man. I ain't a shitter. I ain't a fucking shitter. I'm a drinker. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna be sick. Cool. Keep quiet for a while, then. Man, I am too drunk to think. Cool. Too drunk to talk. Too drunk to think. Too drunk to speak. Fuck. I think I'm seeing triple. Either that, or I got a lot of fingers I never knew about. Cool. Please, be quiet a minute. I'm trying to concentrate. I'm pretty drunk, man. Me too. Once, I got drunk and shot somebody. You know that? I never told nobody that. Cool. Very good. I'm a maniac, man. Just like you! Great! That's why we friends. We both mad. Sure! I love you, man. You my best friend. My best friend. Okay, great. Now please, let me drive. So, did you drink in there? I could swear it was just me knocking back that stuff. Shit, I do not know. I cannot really remember. You are a strange girl, Michelle. F a funny girl. I do not know. What was up with all those questions, Michelle? Are you drunk? I am really very drunk. I do not like those questions. I don't want to think about it. Why don't you want to talk about normal stuff? Shit. I have to think about this stuff when I'm trying to earn money. I don't want to think about it when I'm out with you. Why do you always go and get the drinks? If I did not know any better, I would think you were trying to put something in my glass. Trying to slip me a Mickey. 
I think that's what they call it. Is that what they call it? You're not slipping this Mickey to me, were you? No. <laughs> of course not. I'm just drunk. <laughs> very, very drunk. Questions, questions, questions. All you seem to have is questions. When I am drinking, I do not like to be asked these questions. Just let me be. I do not like to be asked questions anyway. Uh, come on. I'm a nice guy. Yeah, I got into some scrapes. <laughs> Who has not? And I'm a nice you? guy. Can't you see that? Man, am I drunk. You Shit! I'm drunk. Don't worry. No. Why would I worry? Why would I fucking worry? I have crazy out drinking with a killer and with his family so fucked up, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Why would I worry? What in God's name have I got to worry about? Fuck. I'm just neurotic, aren't I? Really self-indulgent, really idiotic, pathetic. What are you gonna do now? Shoot me? Probably. You psycho. You crazy. Shut up, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. That was fun. Yeah, great. Just great. I love drinking. It gives you clarity. It calms you down. It shows you that you really do hate yourself. I don't know about that. You already knew that, maybe. I hate myself and I want to die. Great, that's a sensation worth paying for. Fuck! What is wrong with me? Calm down. I'm trying! Maybe I better shut up. Maybe. That was fun. Yeah, sure. Do us a favor. Try not to freak out like you seem to when you get drunk. Fuck you! That's better. Yes, fuck you, you creep! You fucking lunatic creep! Fuck you! You're a loser! You're a fucking loser! Fuck you! What is wrong with you, you cold-hearted creep? Please, leave me alone! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Shh, calm down. I'm drunk. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's great fun. Reminds me of being at a funeral. Then why drink? I don't know. Because my whole family does, and there's such a bunch of winners. My mother, she's great. They haven't invented a tranquilizer strong enough, but if she combines them with whiskey, she can get to sleep. My dad, he did awful things to my brothers. I loved him, but I knew. I fucking knew. And my brothers? <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> This is good. I'm enjoying myself. Fuck you, Nico. You think you better than Carmen? You ain't. You ain't fucking shit. Okay. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You lucky Carmen's hanging out with you, baby. She's so out your league. She should be going out with rap stars and football players. Not hoods like you. Every time Carmen agrees Excuse to go me. out I'm with here. you, you get real lucky. Sure I am. I really appreciate that. Screw you, yeah. asshole! Watch it, Carmen. We're having fun. You like a child, Nico. You simple like a fucking child. Shit. I go to deal with stupid fucking sick children all day long. I don't need to deal with you here as well. Don't do that again. Fucking whiny sick bitches. I had all the patience. Shit, your life sounds real tough, Carmen. You have it hard. 
I don't know how you cope. Carmen don't know how she cope neither, baby. Shit! Can't someone else look after them? You fucking do it! Shit, Carmen, I'm not the one they're fucking paying. You a cheapskate or something, Nico? You don't wanna spend no money on Carmen? You only buy her the happy hour drinks, not them high price ones. I thought you liked the drinks I was buying you. Why didn't you say anything at the time? Carmen was saying something. She was saying something with her eyes and with her hips and with her whole body language. If you cared, you would have picked up on it. But you two up your own fucking ass to give a shit about the Carmen. I guess so. Screw you, Nico! Guess where Carmen gonna hit you fucking next? Man, I am drunk as shit. No problem. No problem? I gotta be at work soon. I gotta save lives! Issue. Issue? Fuck you! Ouch! I'll give you fucking issues. I'll put you in the fucking hospital myself. Great. Who was that bitch? Was she one of your cheap whores? What are you talking about? I saw you looking at her. Don't pretend you weren't. Go to her. Go to that cheap fucking bitch. Look, Geeky, I don't know what you're talking about. I was in there with you. I wasn't trying to pick up other women. Don't try to fucking play me, Nico. I've got connections in the court, and I can make sure you're kept where I want you. I don't respond well to threats, Geeky. Chill the fuck out. You chill out and keep your fucking dick in your pants. That's not too much to ask, is it? I wasn't looking at anyone. Shit! You take your other whores there, do you? The place you get them drunk before you have your way with them? Did you get me drunk so you could do the same thing to me? What are you talking about, Kiki? I wasn't the one who suggested those tequila slammers. I didn't force the alcohol down your throat. <sighs> no, you didn't. Sorry if I don't want to kick back a bit when I'm not at work. Get a little buzz on. Is that so wrong? No, it's not. Just don't go all weird on me. Oh, oh. Hey, are, you, are you gonna run off to your other whore because I've gone a bit weird? Is that how you're treating me now? I'm only treating you with respect, Kiki. <laughs> sure you are. Sure you fucking are. I care about you, Nico. So, so, so much. That was so nice. I feel really warm inside. That would be the shot you just downed. Now let me know if you're going to throw up. You'd just love that, wouldn't you? You'd just love to leave me spewing on the side of the road so you could go back to one of your other whores. Can you hear me? I'm out with you tonight, Kiki. I wouldn't leave you on the sidewalk. So, you don't deny it. You have other whores out there. I feel so dirty. I feel used. What are their names? What are their fucking names, Nico? I'll find those bitches. Chill out, Kiki. You need to calm down. I'll find them. I'll find those filthy whores. You're mine. You're all mine. I've had too much to drink. Don't worry. You don't love me. No, but I like you. You're an asshole, Nico. A whore-loving asshole. Thank you, darling. You speak so beautifully. Fuck you! Fuck you, asshole! Run off to your whores! Run off to your sluts! You don't need a real woman! You, you can't handle a real woman! You hate me! I'm starting to. I hate myself! I do! And I want to die! Please shut up. My fault. Man, I'm drunk! <laughs> cool. Oh, why? Because you think now I'll fuck you? 
<laughs> you're ridiculous. Oh, you're a man. What did I expect? If I wanted a conversation, I would have gone online. Fucking loser. Look at you. You're inane. Ha, ah, fucking ha. Ah, inane. That's a new word. I learned another new word. Preposterous. And that's what you are. I'm not. I'm great. Great, man. I'm spinning out. I shouldn't be drinking so much. At least these meds are working. Fuck, I'm drunk. Sit quietly, please. Fuck you. Whatever. Man, I'm loaded. I can't wait to get online. Sounds fun. What the fuck do you know? You're old. Old and poor, you dick. You're an annoying drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm special. Yeah, special. You'll be able to tell your kids you knew me before that I was famous and that I had a fun side. Really fun. I'm special, dickhead. People want to know me. I have fans. Do you know how that feels to have fans? No. It's lonely. It's so fucking lonely. I'm amazing and I hate myself. We'll figure that out. Beats me. Man, I am so drunk. You look kind of cute. <laughs> Thanks. How do I look? Good. You always look good. That's not the problem. And what's the problem? No me the problem is your personality. What is wrong with you? You are so superior and nasty, but your confidence is clearly pretty thin. And you seem on the edge of a breakdown. Fuck you. I hate myself as much as anyone. I know what it is to be an artist. What do you do? Fucking nothing. You're a loser, loser. I can get into any club I want. I can sleep with any man I, I want, I can do anything, and then I'm intellectual, and I can read. Well done. Well done, and shut up. Please. Sister? How you boys doing? I'm sober. Let's have another drink. You don't look sober, old man. Uh-huh. No, you look fucked up. But that may just be the age. Fuck all of you fucking assholes. Lost MC! Fucking Lost Motorcycle Club, man! Lost MC! Lost M fucking C, yeah! Oh yeah! Lost MC! <laughs> well, if everyone else is doing it, here's a Lost MC for you. I love you, brothers. I fucking love you. Lost MC! This country's so fucked up. Republicans, Democrats, it's crazy. That's why we got the Lost MC. It's the one thing that makes sense. It used to, maybe. It still means something, Johnny. It does. I hope so. What are we talking about? I need a woman. Arrgh! How about Johnny here? He's pretty enough. You but don't you get, get it, it man. I got needs. Yeah, you need to sober up. I'm sober enough, man. It's a pity none of the women in this city are drunk enough. Oh, man. <laughs> These colors don't run. Dudes. Dudes. Yep. You. Dudes. You're the fucking greatest. You're, you're my brothers. And you're my brother, man. Johnny Clevitz. Johnny, man, I follow you. I follow you anywhere. But you're hoping I'll lead you to some hookers or something, right? I wish you would, but I know you're too much of a sensitive motherfucker to do that. Sensitive like a kick in the balls? Look, all I'm hoping is if I follow you, I ain't gonna end up naked under the turnpike. <laughs> I can't guarantee that. Let's fuck some shit up! Man, I'm so drunk I think someone's watching us. No one's watching us, brother. I bet it's my ex-wife. I bet it ain't. I still love her, man. I still love her. Good for you. The Brotherhood of the Law. I'm hella drunk. Shit, we gotta look after him. Same old story. Getting this cocksucker out of trouble. Good thing I'm sober. Sober as a fucking judge. Shit. I'm drunk as a judge who threw that last case of yours out of court. 
It wasn't drunkenness that got Terrence off. It was good old-fashioned witness intimidation. Yeah! <laughs> 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 we'll drink to that. Lost Emson! Clay, man. Clay, you ever thought about being like uh, chapter president? I ain't gonna challenge your position, man. I didn't mean it like that. I think you'd do good. Yo, I ain't built to make the orders just to follow them. Done that my whole career. Oh, yeah. Making orders at Burbishot? Now, them some orders I could handle. Lost fella! Sometimes, Johnny. Sometimes I wonder. Wonder what, brother? Maybe I should have done something, I don't know, different with my life. Gone clean. I don't I know about that, that, but you could have at least tried washing. Ah, fucking hot. I open my heart up to you, brother, and you crack a I joke. Fuck you, man. Nice. I'm sorry, brother. I'm just a little I'm drunk. Sure. I'm fucking up. Danny, man, what's your pussy situation? Pussy situation? Don't think I got one. Yeah? Shit. I could throw you a lady. They'd be disappointed at first, but, like, eventually, they get used to you. Real sweet of you, brother, but I'm cool. I kind of swore off women for a while. What, man? You being serious? <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm drunk. I'm sober as can be, brother. Try drinking lager light. You know, sometimes I think there must be more to life than boozing, women, and fucking war. Good for you, man. And then I try to think what? The only thing I can come up with is bullshit. That's real deep, brother. I know. <laughs> Lost them. These colors don't run, man. Lost forever. Forever lost. We got brothers, man. Fuck the numbers. We got brothers. Lost MC for motherfucking life. Ain't you two some fucking walking cliches? How about we drop the sentimental and find us some pussy? That is if I don't pass out first. The Brotherhood of Billy, man. Billy, I don't get it. Billy ain't here, Clay. Shit, I know that. We were drinking, not smoking peyote, you dumb motherfucker. What about Billy then? Don't get it, is all. What you guys think about him is? Yeah? Well. Who fucking cares? Billy ain't here. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Man, I'm drunk as fuck. Good for you, brother. Good for you. It is good for me. When I'm drunk, women find me irresistible. I can only imagine. That's the truth, man. I'm sure. Fuck you. This club, man, is fucking cool. Used to be a lot cooler. Let's go! It brings us together, man. You, a confused and shit sexually repressed, overly sensitive Jewish maniac? Got me in one. And me, a man of the world, a gifted lover, a man with discipline and charm. A man with sexually transmitted diseases that ain't been heard of in the West. <laughs> the Brotherhood brings us together, man! It fucking does, man. Brothers for life! Uh, oh, yeah! I'm wasted, man. Me too, Jerry. You know, I used to really love this fucking country. You did? Sure. What happened? You grew up? Sure did. I think I might be. Yeah. Shit, H, you look drunk, man. That's because I am drunk. You shouldn't drink. You can't spare the brain cells. Fuck you. What you down to now, 15 or 20? Brain must be held together with bits of string. Fuck off. If you so fucking bright, why you spend all your time with me? Good question. You're throwing more annoying drunk than sober. Man, 
I'm fucked up. Charity! That's why I spend my time with you. Mm, I think I'm gonna be sick. You better not be sick on me again. Sorry, bro, but I think I'm about to. Fuck you! Shit, I'm wasted. Me too. And if I'm drunk, you two must be gone. Cause you so damn hard. Exactly. You drink so much. Yes. Cause you got to forget. Forget what? What an annoying little bitch you is. Exactly. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Fuck the pair of you. We three drunk motherfuckers, ain't we? I may be drunk, but I ain't no motherfucker, Rike. That's your department. Yeah, you just fuck daddies. Big hairy daddies. That's what you call your cellmate, wasn't it? <laughs> harder, daddy. Harder, harder. Woo-hoo, slap that hairy ass. <laughs> <laughs> You want to talk, Al? How speak Tony like it? He give it to you soft? Or give it to you gentle? Soft and gentle is the same thing, you idiot. I thought Tony the homo would have made a distinction. I'll give it to you soft and gentle if you're not careful. Whoa, 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 get a room. I'm feeling some real heat off you two. No, he fucking wishes. He fucking wishes. There's some real chemistry here. Pair of fucking morons. You pussies weren't even pulling your weight in there. What do you mean, bro? I was drinking for the both of you. That's the only reason I'm this drunk. Nah, man. Yo, you're drunk because you're drinking for you and that massive tip on your shoulder. <laughs> he liked the hunchback of Northwood Heights. That tip is so big. OK. If that's my excuse, what's yours, Sal? I don't know, man. Do I need an excuse to be drunk on my boys? I don't think so, El. What are we even talking about? Who fucking knows? Fuck both of you. Shit, bro. I think I'm a little drunk. I'm fine. Always knew you was queer. I'm gone. Jesus, what is wrong with you? A little drink and you turn into morons. I'm totally fine. Really? For real. Then why you pissed yourself? <laughs> that ain't piss. Looks like piss. I spilled my drink. Oh, fuck you two. We ain't even started yet, bro. I need something to drink. You just had something to drink, hey? You drunk as a motherfucker. Luis Lopez. The man who's always in control. In control? I look like I'm in control of you? Damn, you a bigger fool than I thought. You know what I mean, Mr. Sensible Bitch Ass Bitch. You boys is both out of control. I'm the one who's in control. That's why I need another drink. He too stupid to know when to stop. No, you too stupid to know when to keep on going. It's rare that I say it, but I'm siding with Armando here. I can't drink no more. Fucking pussies. Hey, Roman, I got your text. Great, Nico. I've got my hands full at the moment with these charming money lenders I know. Maybe you should come to the cab office and help me out? I'll see you soon. Roman, how's it going? You know, cousin, things have been looking up since you got here. If things are looking up now, I hate to think what they were like before I arrived. <laughs> I hear you're working with little Jacob. A good man, Nico. A good man. I can't tell what he's saying most of the time, but I like him. That is your bad English, Nico. Once you've been in America for longer, you will understand him perfectly. Sure I will, Roman. Later on. Oh, excuse me! There's your punch. Living here, on Earth, is your punch. You could be living with me. That's my cousin, Nico! Yes, it is, Roman. You're right. So, what's happening in your world at the moment? Met anybody interesting recently? Other than the community leader and drug dealer that Mallory introduced me to, neither of whom are doing too good no more, 
Yeah, I guess I have met some interesting people. Please, tell me you are talking about twins and bleach blonde hair and teacup titties! You're a wild man, Envy! I'm afraid I haven't met these women of your dreams, Roman. No, I was referring to a deputy police commissioner called Francis McCreary, an Irish hood called Packy, an African-American drug dealer who calls himself Playboy X, some outlaw biker guy named Johnny, and the doctor who buys dead bodies so he can sell the organs. If you're losing money at the tables, you might be able to sell some body parts to him for a quick buck. How much does a kidney go for nowadays? <laughs> I'm kidding, NB, kidding. Oh, That's like you're having a crazy time. Talk to you soon. Hey, Roman. Hello, Nico. How's it going? Killed anyone recently? Now that you mention it. Shit, Andy. I was joking. Who was it this time? This drug dealer, Playboy X. He tried to get me to get rid of a friend of his for him, but uh, I like the friend better. Nico, shit. I hope this guy is paying you good for saving his ass. He just got out of prison, and he hasn't got much, but I made the right decision. Ah, ah. Good, NB. I'll talk to you later on. <laughs> Cousin, how are you? All the better for hearing your voice, NB. You sound down. Are you okay? Not really. I got caught up in an argument between the drug dealer and his drug dealing mentor. I had to choose who'd win the argument, and I chose the young guy. Playboy X is his name. Now he's paid me off and is treating me like an asshole. So? He's treating you like a rich asshole. Who cares? Enjoy yourself. Spend the money on a clean hotel room and a dirty college girl. Call me if you want to hang out afterwards, cousin. <laughs> Roman, how's it going? Have you seen this bank heist on the news, NB? That's some crazy shit. I bet you wish you pulled off a job like that. Who says I didn't? You're shitting me, NB. No fucking way! Who'd you do it with? This fucked up Irish family. Well, some of them. There are four brothers. Two are gangsters, one's a cop. And the other is a heroin addict, ex-freedom fighter. And then there's a sister. A sister? Sounds more my speed than these crazy brothers. I can tell from your voice that you like her cousin. Are you two doing it? I've got to go, Roman. I'll talk to you soon. Nico, there you are. Tell me what's happening in the exciting world of the gun for a hire. Who's paying the bills at the moment? At the moment, it's the Mafia. Shit, Nico. You're involved with one of the five families? Not quite. I'm working for a family out of Alderney called the Pegorinos. This guy called Ray Bocino has had me working with this guy from the Lost Biker Gang called Johnny. I'm running around after these diamonds he stole. It's been a fucking hassle and all for nothing. Lost? Those guys are meant to be really dangerous, cousin. I heard there was a war or something on between the Lost and the Angels of Death. You don't want to get caught up in that shit. Take your cut of the diamonds and get out of there. There is no cut of the diamonds. The ice got jacked when we tried to sell them. This Dominican-looking guy shot the place up. Ugh, my heart goes out to you, cousin. I'll talk to you soon. Hello there. Behaving yourself, are you and me? Always, Roman. As much as I can, at least. And I'm doing the bidding of these all the gangsters. What do they like in me? The gangsters? I'm working for this guy Phil Bell at the moment. He's better than Ray Bocino. Paranoid about wiretaps and helicopters, but uh, he seems legitimate. He should be paranoid. The feds are out to organize crime in a big way. Stay disorganized would be my advice, Nico. Don't let them get you for racketeering. I need to work with these guys. Hopefully they'll be able to find Darko Brevich for me. I can't think who else would. Speak to you soon, cousin. Cousin, how's it going? Roman, can I ask you a question? I thought this time would come, Nico, but 
To be honest, I don't know how I'm so successful with the ladies. They just love me. That wasn't what I wanted to ask you. I wanted to know what it was like to be kidnapped. Hello? Were you an asshole to the people who took you, or did you behave yourself? I did everything they said, except for give you up, cousin. I was scared shitless. That's what I thought. I've had to kidnap this girl, and she's a fucking nightmare. Shame on you, Nico Bellic. You should know better than this. Who is she? What, what, who'd you take her for? I'm working with that Irish family. She's some mobster's daughter, Gracie Ancelotti. Nico, shit! You're fucking with the mob! The Ancelottis are one of the five old families. I, I, I don't know nothing about this. Give her back as soon as you can. I've got to go, Nico. Hey, Roman, you ever wonder if things are just coincidence or if everything is all planned? You mean like when you sleep with two girls on one night and they turn out to be mother and daughter? I mean like this Dominican-looking guy shot up a deal I was trying to make. Then I've kidnapped this girl and we're handing her over for these same diamonds and this Dominican-looking guy is there again. So he steals the diamonds at the deal and then has to give them back for the girl. What's the big deal? It's not as much of a coincidence as the mother and daughter. Thanks for putting things in perspective, Roman. Later on. Nico, my cousin, give me some tales of the Liberty City underworld. I'm curious. Maybe if you give me tales of a womanizing gambling addict. <laughs> That's a low blow in me. Seriously, what are you up to at the moment? I've been working for Jimmy Pegorino, the head of that Alderney Guido family. Yeah, the head of the family. Is he a big-time gangster like in the movies then? Wants to be. Keeps talking about being powerful. About getting on the commission with the five big families. I just hope he's got enough power to be able to find Darko Brevich for me. I hope you'll be able to relax when you do finally find him, Nico. Speak soon. Oh, come on! Roman, good to speak to you. I needed to talk to a friend. Why? What's wrong? I think it's my conscience. I don't know. Your conscience? Have you killed too many people, Nico? Perhaps. That man who I worked for, Ray Bocino. I was asked to kill him, and I did. He was a cockroach, a pest. But I don't know how long I can keep on dealing in death. It must be difficult, Nico. Maybe there is another path to take, a less violent one. I'll speak to you soon, okay? Roman, how are you? Fantastic, cousin. Mallory is going to make me the happiest groom on Earth. How are you? Good. I feel like I'm getting close. I've been working for John Gravelli. John Gravelli? The head of the Gambetti crime family? Shit, Nico. This man is very dangerous. This man is nearly dead, cousin. He knows the government agent that Michelle forced me to work for. They say they will give me Darko. You don't know how long I've waited for this, Roman. It is nearly over. Don't get ahead of yourself, Nico. Be careful around these men. Talk to you soon. Roman! NB, what's up? I don't know, this and that. I've been hanging out with little Jacob. You two are friends now. This is great. I thought you'd get along. Is that because we're both violent criminals, cousin? <laughs> it's because you both get along with me. You're more than just a violent criminal to me, cousin. You're a human being. Speak to you soon. Nico, my cousin, tell me I was right. Right about what? Right about Brucey. He's more than just a steroid-fueled maniac. He's a good guy. You've been hanging out with him. Maybe you were right about him being fun to hang out with, but he's crazy. The roid rage has screwed up his head, so I think I'll just be hanging with him. No more work. Okay, that's cool. Blaze around and be. Cousin. NB, you are certainly my cousin. 
I hear you were seen out on the town with a sexy young girl. Who is she? Her name is Carmen. I met her on Love Meet. The best place to find a woman, N.B.? No connections to your friends? No chance of your girlfriend finding out? Enjoy her, cousin. Later on! Nico, man! What's up? Not much, cousin. I've gone on a date with this girl I met on Love Me. She's called Kiki, and she's a lawyer. That is a useful profession considering your job, NB. Good work. Remember to make it clear that you are a red-blooded animal, though, and you won't be tied down to a monogamous relationship. You are a balik, remember? You can't help playing the field. You don't want her getting jealous. That won't be a problem, Roman. We're not serious. I'll talk to you soon. Roman, you'd never believe it, but I met this girl on crap list. Who is the lucky lady? Some trust funder called Alex. I don't really like her, but uh, it's something to do, isn't it? It's all sport, NB. Have some fun with her. Later on, cousin. I'm proud of you. Johnny, my brother. Hey, Angus. You seen much of Billy yet? I seen him, yeah, not much, though. Well, dude, what do you think? Is he on top of his shit, or is he gonna run this club into a hole? He's gonna run himself into some hole. I know that. Shit, Billy doesn't really talk to me. I mean, he'd hardly make eye contact since I got hurt. That's because you're way down in your chair, Angus, and it's hard to see ya. <laughs> Sight funny if I didn't think it was true, John. Billy doesn't see anything that he don't wanna. He'll see anything within smoking, fucking, and drinking proximity, but he won't see the two-ton truck bearing down on him. I get you, man. Later on. Jonathan, what's happening in the world of the walking? Same old shit, man. Saw Ashley. Of course you did. How is the old girl? Still the same spark? The only spark left is in her meth pipe. That shit's killing her. Fuck. I've seen what it does to some of the brothers, man. If you love her enough, you can help her. It's past that, dude. We're over. Long gone. But you're still helping her out of fixes? If it's over, you got to end it completely. Yeah, I know it. But you know me. Always had a soft spot for someone in trouble. Thanks for the advice, man. Hey, Johnny. Did you hear? I heard. How you feel about the chat the presidency? I wish it didn't have to be this way, but we don't got much choice. That crown feeling heavy, is it? For what it's worth, I'd follow you, man. I'm sure the other brothers will, too. Those that are worth having behind you, at least. Those that ain't gonna stab me in the back. You gonna go see Billy? I don't think I can after what he said. He wouldn't want me there either. Adios, Johnny boy. Chapter President. My brother. Just when you thought shit couldn't get worse. You go and start a civil war. Hey, Brian fucking started it. No, wait. Fucking Billy started it. That don't sound very presidential. Well, I'm president of a bunch of Alderney piss lickers. Not the whole nation. So I'm gonna sound how I like. That being my fucking presidential right. Alright, man. I'm just saying do what's best for the brothers, not what's best for your pride. I will, dude. Later on. Johnny, what's this I hear about you getting caught up with the Mafia? Yeah, well, Ash, she introduced me to this guy. That the same Ash you ain't seen no more? The Ashley Butler who's too tweaked to know what's good for her? That Ashley, sure. I just want her to be okay so I ain't leaving her to die, you know. Man, oh man, what women can do to us. Don't get in over your head, Johnny. That mobster is cold as all hell. Look after yourself, man. Always. 
You too, man. You too. Angus, man. Chap the president? I'm president of a burnout house and some broken ass brothers. It's dead, man. It's over. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'll probably keep sending money to Jim's old lady and her kid. I owe him that. We all do. Beyond that, I'll probably try to cut my ties. What about Ashley? Ashley? The ice got her good. I finally cut her loose in my head, man. I don't know what's left for her other than that need to fuck up everything around her. You've been a good friend, Angus. You're a good man, Johnny. Things should have worked out better for you. Well, things should be better for a whole heap of people. It don't work out that way, do it. Adios, amigo. Johnny, thought you'd never call. Yeah, we haven't seen one another in a long time. I just see you in my dreams, sugar. Hello? Come on, Ash. Give it up. You seriously got time to dream in between your three-day ice binges? What's up, Johnny? How you like having Billy back? I like it fine. Look, I gotta go. Take care of yourself. If it isn't my white knight, my savior, Johnny K. I ain't your savior, baby. I might have beaten up a few pimps and pushers, but I'm never gonna save you from yourself. I learned that a long time ago. That's the old me. I'm clean now. I'm off the meth and all that shit. Didn't seem like that when I last saw you. Just checking you're okay. Bye, Ash. Johnny, baby. I heard Billy's back inside. Yeah, he's locked up for a time. They might give you two a conjugal visit trailer if you ask the screws nice. Fuck you, Johnny. Why are you being like that? I just like Billy, that's all. You like a lot of people, Ash. Yeah, but I only love you. Stop saying that. It's meaningless. You don't even know what the words mean. Goodbye, Ashley. Didn't think I'd hear from you again. I didn't think I'd call you. You hear about Billy? Yeah, I heard. Look, Johnny. Look, have you got any money? I need 40 bucks. I need it real bad, baby. Not this time. You can kill yourself on your own. Goodbye, Ash. <laughs>